Okay, Lily, we're in. Ah. Uh, God damn, that's awesome. Cute. I found Bug. uh I found sound effects. I'm going to give you a link. All right, hold on, hold <laughs> on. I'm going to do it again. One second. And then Lily, go. Oh, so damn. I had <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We'll do it again. Lily. <laughs> go. It didn't. We did it. It's fine. <laughs> Yay! It didn't want to do it that the last time. It didn't want to go through the full anime. Hello, everybody. God damn it. We're here. My voice Whoa. is still ha, but it's getting better. Mine's also ha. My popular the man. We're back. So it's not like it's not like you missed a game or anything. You, 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 it's not you, like I missed a fucking game. Yeah, you were, I re I distinctly remember you being there. There was a heartfelt speech and everything. Yeah, yeah, we talked to <laughs> shit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I think because of Emerald's amnesia, we should probably do that scene again. Maybe we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, we'll just see. in case. Did I close tabletop? Oh no, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We're here playing some video games. Um, I would point you guys down toward the thing below to send me money, uh, but, uh, but uh, you sent enough. Look at it. There it is. <laughs> I, I, I just need I just need money for bills, and this month has been great. Uh, we've made a lot of money, and that was really good. And whatever the number ends up being at the end of the month, I'm gonna take that number and put it into all of the games, giving everyone their 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 destiny tokens, their reroll tokens. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Hero dice. Hero dice. Yeah, we're the gonna give everybody balloon, everything. Uh, collection. Yeah, more balloons. It's gonna be great. More Everybody's balloons, gonna have baby. everything, and uh, and that's gonna be really good. It's, there's already gonna be a lot there because it's it's a lot of monies already. Uh, but uh, I'm also gonna pay pay Aaron whenever I can think of it. It'll happen one day, I'm sure. <laughs> With that being said, that. we are going to go into. The room, here it is. Wah! Ah! Wah. Ah. We're in. We're in the room. We're, we're here. This is where we. This is where we show up. Yeah, we do we, things there. I've cleaned it up, so you may wonder to yourself. But wait, if you cleaned up the room, how are we supposed to have the recap where and everything, and also the the speech that we're supposed to have? But damn! My God! I cut out. I cut out the, the one zone of, of that map that we need. Oh my fucking God! <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> You're so oh well God. prepared. I'm so good. I'm so good to having all the things that I I need all the time. Um, also, Deco, since uh, I I put a thing in the network for you for you to use. I won't use it. You can use it. I put it in the network for you. I'll kill you. Up. Oh. There goes dogs. Thank you. Thank Goodbye, you. Bye, dogs. Thank you, Lil. I appreciate it. You caused you caused my dogs to bark, though. That's you. That's that's what you did. Lil, Apples Lil fucking shit. love me. You... The barker. They're barking so much. They're loud, but I love them, and I would murder for them. Look at their face. <laughs> they're Look just they're them. just worried that a monster is trying to kill me, or or I don't know, my mom showed up or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one or the other so uh, oh, so dumb. Look at that. if we go over here we can see that emerald did uh do their 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 squares there they have been squares yeah. that have been moved very not good, only that i got cool. a little black an extra black one because i was lucky yeah you got an extra black aaron yeah yeah, yeah. good job <laughs> extra black it's wonderful. Can we say that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just immediately came to mind that one scene from Super. <laughs> Stop, don't shoot. He's not black. Stop! Don't, don't shoot. shoot! He's not black! You know what the worst part about that is? I recently it's, heard it's that a, in it's English. It's amazing out of context. I recently heard that in I, I recently heard that in English and I was very I was very happy, but then immediately after I heard a Sanji clip and I'm like, uh. Because uh -oh. <laughs> I can never get Sanji, like the Sanji's English voice, out of trunks in my head ever. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's that's the one yeah. problem I have with the with the funny dub of uh, of of uh, One Piece. One I, Piece. I whenever I yeah. tried watching it, I'm like everybody's DBZ and I can't get it out of my brain. 
Yep. <laughs> it's cursed I'm knowledge. Like, I'm not someone. I'm, who, like, I'm not someone who remembers voice actors very well, but with with that, I with that I do, and it didn't seem like any of them really did a lot to change in the beginning. Maybe they get I'm better like, as it gets further in. <laughs> unlike uh i have my opinions but we'll get into that later will we i think right we should now. just that's scary i think we should just go right in with the recap i'm gonna roll a d4 and we're gonna decide who does the recap that's a three <laughs> ain't no fucking way <laughs> I, it's, it's right there I fucking... <laughs> fake person <laughs> Just donated three hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> what the fuck, fake person? Why? It says a card to Gil and the rest to the fund. Oh shit! The fund. Are we starting that up already? Oh, We're putting the fun fund. The fund is going. We still technically have the other fund going right now. The other fund being making cards. Uh, we are making cards of uh, the Kingdom Hearts characters, uh, or at least things of Kingdom Hearts, and putting them into five darps. That is still a thing that is happening. Uh, however, we now have uh, another another one of the fund in. Heck yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know what that is yet. I'm going to be honest with you, fake person. I have no idea what this, what this fund will be now. <laughs> yeah, you broke the system. We don't know. Because I was, I'm still busy trying to figure out the other fund. I couldn't. Okay, cards on the table for everybody. I couldn't work on the last fund until I got money <laughs> because I couldn't get art done you other than what? the arts that I got from Fomal because Fomal just lets me do that and lets me pay them in in swag in the game. <laughs> I do love swag. <laughs> I do more enjoy balloons. swag. <laughs> more balloons. <laughs> one art equals one more. I should have done that. One art equal one more balloon. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you yes. don't have enough mana for that. More balloon. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much, fake person. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. You will be the first person to know what that does whenever I think about it. <laughs> you will be the first person. I will go to you immediately and tell you. We got in the real life. Network. No, not in real life. No, 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 Discord. <laughs> we got the Summoners Network errors, so now it's rotated, and now Makoto has inspiration. Are you okay <laughs> doing the recap again? <laughs> I'll do it. I do think it's really fucking funny. I was going <laughs> to put it on someone else today, but it did roll a three. <laughs> Last time you guys fucking juked me. <laughs> Last time I was 100% made it be you, yes. <laughs> there was no way it no, couldn't have been you. <laughs> no matter what it rolled, it would have been the same thing. <laughs> okay, quick and dirty. I'm not promising anything special. No, but no, I'm no that's perfectly it. fine. Quick and dirty. Good. Good. I'm gonna just say shit. Uh, so last time in Kingdom Hearts, I can't believe they're making me do this again. Um, <laughs> that's not what it's called. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the subtitle. Uh, the team on over at Ruby Conte slash Hades his plays. Considers what to do. Hibiki is very there for that. Um, <laughs> they do notice and realize that this place is connected to the other to the other high houses somehow, which is a loaded thing to know. But now we know that's happening, and they go, "Well, let's go outside and meet with our guy. That we should probably get out of here and not just walk away from here and leave him alone forever. That'd be fucked up for us to do. So we didn't do that. We went back." And uh, the team talked to Joda a little bit and went, well, this is what we talked to with the other guy. I feel like we want to explore a little bit more or maybe check this place around. And he goes, oh, no, this place is fucking gone. I mean, I guess upstairs, you know, it was a prison there for a while. There was like a guy at the top of the prison who we're pretty sure was being fed people, but they're not 100. <laughs> We're gonna give it like a solid 60%. We don't know what was going on there, but people were going in there and they weren't coming out, which in Summoner's Network lore usually means they're dying. So, they, you know, it's, they're not there anymore. They're just kind of fucked off. That's just a little scary to think about as well. But, you know, there's nothing up there, really. I mean, we could check this place around a little bit more. And we were like, you know what? We do want to check this place around. What is there? Well, there is the room that I've made my room. And there's a gigantic junkyard area where things are kept. And we go, we'll check those. 
We do check them. Uh, we do find the junkyard area. Here it is. Himiki was very there for that. Um, <laughs> the that is my like... favorite catchphrase that Himiki said. <laughs> Uh, the team looks around with uh, varying successes. Uh, those being, they find this place also is kind of weirdly full of unethical experiment Jews, which apparently is the same Jews that we saw on the mountain. So don't worry, it all runs in and in tortured innocence down here. I love, I love how it's, it's just, it's just all here. I'm sure that has no horrifying consequences or implications. And we also note Gilgamesh, uh, with his abilities of, uh, literacy, which he doesn't have, uh, he does find a map, and for the power of, of, uh, understanding symbols and shapes, uh, is able to identify two areas, which, uh, may be the source of, uh, they're, like, the origin of an energy, some ley lines, I believe? That's what he keeps saying. <laughs> That's what he keeps saying. It's the energy, maybe, of because one in the air is the area of the with the white flame, and the other one's this floating island, which is just going around there doing its thing. So you know, we are we are aware those exist and have potentially something of note. If I remember particularly what it was, fuck if I know. He's here. He can clear it up if he fucking wants. I don't. I don't have to do everything here. Yeah. The team talks a little about that. And, uh, they go, you know, that's, you know, we didn't know there was a floating island, it's something new that we just learned, it's like, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's not exactly where it is on this map, it's a floating island, it kind of just moves around, but, you know, that's where it was when it was made. And then Joda also drops the, the pinpoint fact that, uh, apparently, uh, he helped make the, the peacekeepers, which is... Uh, a lot of new information for us. That's the reason he's a, he's arrested. Uh, he's a political prisoner. <laughs> Which is, you know, that's rough, buddy. Uh, he did know he did know Tor at the time, and recognizes that Tor is a little bit kind of insane. But it's fine. It's it's she's she's been going through it. But he doesn't know why they're called peacetakers now. He doesn't know what the fuck happened. Like, he was leading Antifa one moment, and now we're like putting on suits and shit, and also the flame that they found actually can kill the Heartless. It's a lot of information for him, but you know, it's like, alright, let me just- How about we go back, you take me there, and then, you know, we'll- we'll, we'll reintroduce ourselves. And we you know, it's like, you know what? Yeah, we'll bring you back. So the team goes there, and they bring him back, and he high jumps into the castle like a normal person. And, uh... That was scary that he could do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jumps. <laughs> but we have something more powerful than jumps, and that's boat travel, baby! Boat travel, baby! Woo! Which lets us be in a boat and go places. So the Jesus team, Christ. It's true. The team goes all the way back to the library while also talking a little bit on, the, on how fishmen work. Don't worry, they're still out there. You don't have to think about that. And they, they face the crucial question. Do we want to speed run our way over to the... Because we're technically still breaking it kind of close with the other girl that's going to go berserk any minute. We could either try to speed run it or we could, like, chill out and rest for a bit. And of course, uh, we are uh, not afraid of danger any moment of our lives. So we went, yeah, we'll speed run it. Fuck it. Hit the pedal. And they boat all the way over to where she, where she should be. I think that's the correct, and for some reason the English just did not work for me, I don't care. Anyway, here's, here's the beat, here's where we were. There were several locations, but we were particularly drawn in, not by the castle, or by the things happening to the right, but by fire. Because I guess that's something we're into now. So we walk towards yeah. the fire, and, and our friend sees what's here, vibing and chilling, like he usually is. I mean, he wasn't before. He just he just told us in, in very important terms that he is uh, he's been he's been going through it. Uh, he did not look like this before. Just let that sink. It's you know he did not ask to be turned into a he's not a <laughs> he Are you was, sure? He, I am. I mean, unless he's lying. <laughs> 
I can't believe they That would be a weird like... thing to lie about, but he could lie. <laughs> what a weird I suppose lie. you're right, Lily. I hadn't <laughs> thought about that. <laughs> And, you know, he's like, well, you know, uh, you know, the witch who cursed me, uh, even I have, it was like, I was a kid, you know, I didn't ask for that. And that shit was fucked up. And if I hadn't gone and removed with time that I was considered like an, an adult that would have been permanent, the part where I can't like, you know, speak, but also I'm pretty sure this one too, but at least the speaking one is, is solved. Thanks guys. Thumbs up. Uh, also, uh, just so you know. And he was going to signal vaguely at this tree stump. Uh, if you ever want to check out my Sig Bazaar, if you ever want to go to Boston, Chicago, <laughs> you can tell your friends. Uh, and he and he opens up a little bazaar area, which he certainly has the ability to do. Think about that too hard. It's so bizarre. Or if you've seen that, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm sure that's like a, that's that's like a second level spell or something. I bet it's like that's 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 like you can learn that to do that, that that's magic mansion that's fine whatever uh and you know if we're talking about D &D bizarre... terms like i guess it's pretty impressive but you know it, it could be anything in, the, in these in these things if that's a third level spell when i fucking punch you in the face <laughs> and he shows you in and uh you can go in there if you want or not we went there for a bit but that didn't mean mostly go and he came out. So that's where we are. But what about that moment between Zarel and Hibiki? Oh yeah, it was a very touching moment. Moving on. Why don't we play it in explicit detail? Well, Zarel, you make your way away from uh, from Muna uh, as you were having your mind overwhelmed with uh, with information and you didn't really understand or want to after death started being talked about and murder and feeding people um you notice hibiki over here hibiki you've been having some some deep introspective thinking happening as you've been seeing the devil uh and also looking around at the death and destruction and and, and things and and zarel you make your way over and you guys have your amazing heartfelt talk <laughs> good to keep your fucking face straight Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Play me out, Avery. You've been quiet. Oh, uh, play me out, Zarel. Scene. Am I the only one who thinks this is. <laughs> sorry. Uh, this... Are, you, are you making fun of me, God? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> there was like a pause. I'm just like, scene. <laughs> <laughs> but no, keep going. Um, sorry if I'm interrupting you or anything. I, no, I know it's I... been certainly an interesting moment of time. Uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. What's up? Um, I suppose that. By nature, I mean, theoretically, I have been on the world more than you, I suppose, in theory, but I don't remember most of it. Most of my life is like five minutes ago, which really is about a, what is it, like a week now? Closer to two, I think. It's Oh, really? It's been a very jam-packed half month so far. I've heard that people, like, celebrate their baby's birthdays by month. Maybe by the month we can have, like, a first month birthday. I mean, technically they do that. <laughs> but I mean, oh, you're I also not a, technically a baby. You're a full adult. I mean, yeah, whatever. You're be a full fun. grown man. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm a full grown man and want to celebrate my first month birthday? <laughs> I mean, shit, if you want, I mean, that could probably bring a lot of uh, morale to everyone to, you know, celebrate something at least. Mm. That's what I was wondering about. Uh... Is the world bleak this often? That is quite the question to ask <laughs> me of all people. You ever think about death? Well... <laughs> Shut up, Muna! <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> I know what you think about them all the time. It's kind of your thing. No, things shouldn't typically be this feel this bleak. Oh man, I suppose I didn't ask you for sure. I ask you if things usually are. Mm. Because ever since, well, I suppose I don't have a lot to say considering I am quite literally, as I understand, an apocalypse baby. Uh, ever since I had, I suppose, action to this world, it's been one small catastrophe after another, you know, between the literal apocalypse and uh, that, that duke, and now we're marinating on what I believe is a haze of tortured innocence. Mm. Something that was here far longer than the current apocalypse, too. And apparently there was a cult in this area, which wasn't really a good cult, and now they're... I mean, I haven't told the others yet, I suppose I'll let you know, they're... they're fish people? Not... it's the general term, they're coming towards this area, not this area specifically, but, you know, they're not with the king, and the king is... well, that's an entire can of worms that even I can't discern, to be quite honest, it's... Mm. It feels like it's one of uh, unsurmountable darkness after another, personally. I guess we just got a little bit unlucky with where we ended up and when you were born. Well, I mean, you were born before. What was it like for you? Um. You were thinking for a moment when you were uh, blasting that thing real good. Well... I won't lie, I've been thinking a lot about my life after having to deal with Lord Keeve again, and it's just been on my mind, but... That man is a nasty my, piece of work. For most of my life, uh, it's actually very good. Oh, really? Loving family, and a clear-cut goal since I was a kid, uh... I never told y'all much about me specifically when I told y'all about my world, did I? I suppose not. Although it was also quite, again, quite a tumultuous time for everyone. Mm. Well, let's continue well, that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> never talk to it again. I, I told y'all that I was a, an athlete of sorts, but I never said what kind. Uh, I don't believe so. You said you like sports. Mm. You've heard of baseball? Baseball? Yeah. It's part of your Apple. general knowledge. Yeah, that's part. Okay, hell yeah. We have baseball here. <laughs> hell yeah. Let's get uh, Baseball, yes. Yeah, that does seem familiar to me. That's good. At least that wasn't somehow unique to my world. Can you good to know that baseball is our universal constant. Imagine. <laughs> oh, baseball. In a world where baseball is the only thing that exists. Every single oh, fucking one of you are just like, baseball? Yeah, we had that. <laughs> oh my god. We got it during the war. <laughs> it's like treasure. I... When I was a kid, my parents took me to a uh, baseball game and they it was a great time and it inspired me to want to well become a professional baseball player and I worked extremely hard for most of my life and I actually was able to get into the pros really mm. I mean I suppose it would make sense you're quite fast I am quite fast but you should have seen my uh, my fastball I was, an I was an incredible pitcher. The day that this happened to my arms is... I had finally entered the Pro League. I was in one of my first games. Hmm. And I was pitching extremely well. Since you know about baseball, do you know what the term perfect game? Or oh. pitching a perfect game? I suppose I could guess, but I suppose illuminate me. I mean, it sounds like you were doing so well that you were 
winning all of your pitches? I was striking out every batter on the enemy team up until the final pitch of the ninth inning when Lord Hughes Monster decided to come up to me and ruin my arms. Uh. At the precipice of me basically being known as one of the youngest, best pitchers in the league to play the game, he crushed my dreams. And ever since then, it's just been awful, terrible. I lost contact with my family. And as like a last resort, I started doing modeling, but I wasn't really that into it. That mm. sentence. Never mind. <laughs> it's kind of why my hair is a bit weird. I kind of tried to, you know, lean into my other aspects, but nothing, nothing compared to, to baseball. Well, I thought it was your personal style. Though, mm. I am sorry about your dream, PVK. If you ever have something, Zarel, if you ever decide that you have like a lifelong goal, let me know and I'll do what I can to help you. At least one of us should be able to follow their dreams, right? Hmm. Well, I suppose it's a good question. I've never, I've never quite considered having a dream. Hmm. I'm quite happy as I am right now. Though I suppose it's also a the nature of a crisis, if you will. Mm -hmm. You don't quite dream as much as you survive. Mm -hmm. I only know the state of this world and, well, again, to say things are quite bleak is putting it mildly. Mm -hmm. Especially considering your guys' personal demons seem to have chased you here. Well, I suppose yeah. Muna's fine. I believe her personal demon is uh, literacy. <laughs> Maybe. I. At least for the moment, want to help you guys. Surpass your nightmares. So we can all dream together. <laughs> right. You may not have quite the pitching arm anymore, I suppose, but... I think you can strike quite the perfect game against Lord Cube. It's just a matter of time, right, Iki? Believe me, even if after everything we do here, he's still around, I'm not going to rest until he's gone. Then let's make that the thing we do. Mm hmm. Let's do it. Well, not right now. Let's go. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, there's no way. <laughs> he's too strong. <laughs> we don't have nearly enough <laughs> shit to take him on directly. You just get at the fucking top of the mountain, look around for the spaceship and just start firing at it. Ah! <laughs> start throwing rocks at it. Well, I could make a balloon and get you up there. I don't know what happens after that. You fucking use your you use your flying lessons on it. You just fly, you can fly. We combined arrow and balloon in order to make a hot air balloon to fly up there. <laughs> You're fucking dead once I get up there, kid. <laughs> you little shit, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you! Here he fucking comes! I can't, I can't believe we get to be the up sequel. <laughs> up faster. As you guys have your, your heartfelt mm. thing, it actually is interesting, because at the end of the last one, I'm like, Hibiki looks better. Hibiki kind of looks better. Hibiki, you got to talk about your 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 trauma a little bit, like... You yeah. finally you got to talk about it and you got to tell got Zarel to about, about things. It. It's, it's you did good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. planning on ever since Zarell, you made the joke of having a heartfelt talk. It's like, yeah, I've been waiting to talk about this with specifically <laughs> Zarel. Well, after that, everything else happened. 
So, <laughs> yeah. as you guys, we will come in to game today. Back with everyone else. Beforehand, I'm going to give you a little, going to give you a little, 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 a little reroll token there, Zarel. There you go. Yeah. I'm also going to give Hibiki a little reroll token. You better. I would have killed you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also going to give you, because you did the recap, you're going to get two hero dice. You should give me more hero dice until I get stuck on Peter's tower in here, too. Three <laughs> hero dice. Oh, boy. There you go. My beautiful <laughs> penis tower. There's no tower like the hero penis tower. <laughs> they call it the Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> the Leviathan is my penis. Who, who calls it that? <laughs> the survivors. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys would come back in after Gilgamesh would have checked out the bazaar making their way back to you guys. I believe you had said that you did not want to rest because you guys are already on a time on a timer right now. Yeah, we're kind of hustling here. Yeah. Because of that, I'm assuming you guys are going to want to go to the castle and not to the flooded, uh, the flooded wood. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. At the moment. Yeah. You guys see, um, uh, you guys see that, uh, our boy, our boy, Ass um, uh, Assass. He's, he's looking over at you guys. He, he sat, he is sitting down, still sat down at the, uh, at the thing there as he is looking back at you guys. If you need any more information on this place, I can try to figure some more things out for you. Uh, like mm -hmm. I said, the only thing I know about is that a lot of the ice down at the south is melting a lot quicker than it should. That's all I can really say. The water hasn't really risen up since then though uh mostly because this place has always been com somewhat flooded but uh yeah it's about all i got i'd be careful those bug creatures are around here everywhere but uh not entirely sure where exactly they're at mm -hmm. anytime i see them i usually just try to duck into my bazaar smart but uh if you have anything else that you want to talk about, or you have anything you want to bring by my place and have me check out, I've known to be a bit of a, uh, well, I can tell what some things can do if you bring them to me. I'm an appraiser. <laughs> it's a little something I picked up. I will definitely look for your help. Well then, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna get back to my s'mores. He pulls Power out. Wall. He he pulls out from his bag literally a grocery <laughs> store bag of jumbo marshmallows. What? S'mores. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I agree. What is a s'more? No. Uh, you take one of these marshmallows and you put it on some chocolate and graham crackers. It's great. Okay, I don't know what any of that chocolate. is. I'm quite curious, actually. <laughs> what is a marshmallow? Is this? He holds up one of the marshmallows. Yeah, they're like soft. Oh. By the way, these are big marshmallows, Hibiki. <laughs> if if he's offering a marshmallow, Gilgamesh will take it. These are like these are like fucking. You know how like like there are like bigger like jumbo marshmallows yeah. that are like fucking mm -hmm. like like half of a fist. Yeah. This is like a fist. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> As he how did you get giant marshmallows like that? I have my sources. Gilgamesh just shoves it in his mouth. Gilgamesh, you get your ball of dense sugar. <laughs> I don't think Gilgamesh has ever had sugar in his entire existence. <laughs> or at least this deep a concentration of sugar. It is, it's a bit overwhelming at first, but you do, you can't say it's bad, but you kind of have like the same reaction like a, like a cat or a dog gets from getting any amount of sugar you go nah, 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 first like nah, nah. like what is that but then like you you sort of just go no it's good <laughs> hmm. what is this uh, that's part of the s'more usually we put them on a stick right here we hold them over the fire and 
Wait until it gets all gooey and put it on some chocolate and graham crackers. He pulls out Hibiki. He pulls out from the bag another comically large sized bar of chocolate and a comically large sized thing of graham crackers. Well, he much looks I, like he wants to eat the. It looks like the graham crackers themselves, one of the graham crackers looks like a slice of bread. Hmm. I don't. <laughs> How? But how Those are just it? comically large. <laughs> See? They, they seem like reasonable portions to me. Uh, your world must have been sad. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we had big stuff, but not that comically huge. Sad. Indeed. I wish they could try one. He looks over toward the castle, looks back to you guys. And there are worse last meals. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of me to assume this will be the only thing I eat today. <laughs> I guess we're having s'more. <laughs> <laughs> guys, as you guys sit down around the campfire, you are given a s'more from from this man's. Uh, he lets you cook your own marshmallow. Gilgamesh, you burn yours several times. <laughs> <laughs> he eats them anyway. <laughs> They're still good. Burnt marshmallows are, are, are pretty good still. Anyway. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> what, what do you think he is? <laughs> <laughs> you guys each eat uh, we'll say two s'mores each which again at this point are like somewhat like sandwiches almost with how big I need to are. save one I need to get her night girl I need to get her <laughs> s'more Night Fury must have a single s'more you like get like a tiny little like a tiny little like like thing of cloth and you wrap it and you tie the little bow on, a, on it so it doesn't get all, all like mushy or broken hmm I will obtain it. I want to try something, Sorel. Hmm. Put it in a bubble. <laughs> you have... No joke, I make a bubble. <laughs> I spend what? the mod and I make a bubble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that works too. I was going to ask if you had any more cheese. I was going to tell Behold, you guys. The eating s'more these... bubble. I was going to tell you guys, eating these s'mores, I'm going to give you guys all of your mana back. Yeah. <laughs> upon eating upon eating s'mores as well you guys can max out your health but not your shield oh, okay. holy shit so if you guys are okay. missing shield that. then you're good yes you have a little bit more you have a little bit more uh more hp now because you got the points yeah. in experience yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not what I was gonna ask about. Did you get rid of did that also get rid of my over shield essentially yes from the armor damn yeah. you you have rested at this point over shield's gone Okay. <laughs> so if you look at Gilgamesh, you see you guys, he just did ate, go like, so you guys did go inside the shield actually. Both of you guys get back your shields. Oh, neat. Yeah, you oh, guys yeah, you guys you guys that. stopped by stopped by the base, so you guys get your shields back. Oh yeah, we're fully okay. rested for this combat that's gonna be showing up. Uh I mean potentially. combat against a s'mores heartless. Smartless. <laughs> As, <laughs> as you guys eat your s'mores, you guys feel rested enough. You guys have a, a bit of merriment, a bit of a bit of good good vibes. Uh, Zarel, this is your first little camp out you've ever had. Uh, it's very it's very nice. There's like you look over at your friends, some of them having to wipe uh, bits of marshmallow or chocolate off of them. You see Gilgamesh like just eating four s'mores on his own. Each of them, each of them, I, like getting blood in this world. <laughs> I like to imagine that uh, that mm -hmm. Hibiki helped with the s'mores making for the people that don't know how to. Oh, make definitely. It. Yeah, Hibiki, you, baby. You say that, Zarel. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys feel a little brighter having this little hangout sesh. You guys each feel a little lighter, a little brighter. Upon having that happen. <laughs> Upon having that happen, I would like each of you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let me grab it real quick. This is how we get our first d fucking D links. I would like each of S'mores. you to roll me this dice I'm giving you. <laughs> oh my god! Hooray! Oh hey! Please let me get. <laughs> we can't resist the urge Please. for a s'more. Let me you know, Let me I don't players. know a lot about this world, and perhaps it is grim, but I think the way to fix it is by having a camp of your friends. You you say uh, that, and then you look at Gilgamesh, you see his I, one eye is dilated. Move. <laughs> I rolled up you. 
screamed. Two blues and a green. What are you getting, Hibiki? Red. I'm getting a red. All right. Nice. Each of you will be gaining one AP. That's a lot of AP. Goddamn. Well, that's the thing. Even though you have a lot of AP, you can still only do three actions a turn, so it doesn't matter. And, and that's what gives <laughs> us like things like Shrike, which give us back AP for things. It's like, yeah, okay, I can see how the system works. <laughs> I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I know Gilly much is on a fucking sugar rush right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're mo that's why you're moving so fast with this green AP. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! I can't wait for it to crash. It just passes out for three days. I made a balloon and understood everything about the world and got an extra model for it. <laughs> Dude, I hope I, I think it'll be funny if you never get anything but fucking mana just for more balloons at this point. <laughs> you just guys feel mana. that you guys feel that this power that you just got is different than what it was before. This isn't something you gained through uh going and uh aiding Michel and getting more power onto Michel. This isn't something you get by going and messing with uh, uh messing with any like ancient magics or deities or whatnot this is just magic of bonds you guys remember being told not only by michelle but also by hades the power of bonds is strong the power of friendship is good is strong and now you guys feel that a little bit more from it this is almost what it feels like the first true uniquely your power that you've gotten upon being in this world everything else oh, you've done yeah. you've gotten through other people's help or through um uh, or through given to you by helping me chill or finding or doing something this is something each of you feel that you earned just by working with this world's rules power of friendship in this gun I found <laughs> Gilgamesh this is strange for you especially <laughs> friendship what the fuck is this you look around toward the other four sitting here you don't really care too much about uh about uh, Assis but looking over toward the other three getting their uh getting their s'mores on uh you noting that Muna like slightly opens the lantern to feed a bit of marshmallow into Poe you note that uh, that Fali is flo is floating around the fire for a bit, looking as if they're trying to get one of the marshmallows. You see, um, uh, you see Hibiki and Zarel feeding uh, Ramu, trying uh, having a good time. As you're looking around, of everybody having a a fun time, looking around, everybody doing their doing their thing, you feel a little warm inside as you look over to it. This is again somewhat new. But hmm. not bad. Hmm. He he ponders this new feeling and seeing and deciding that seeing Philly having some issue, he will help roast the marshmallow. You guys spend a decent bit of leisure time. Uh, um, uh whenever you guys think about making your way out, Assass does tell you or Assis or however we're calling it. It's supposed to be assassin it's, dream, but you know we can get we can say as um, uh, Aziz if you guys want or Aziz. Um, as they have, uh, as uh, you guys uh, say this, he does mention to you guys that having a break every now and then is definitely needed to keep your keep your morale up, especially in times like these. You guys get ready to make your way out, heading over toward where you guys can see bits of the castle peeking out from the trees. Hmm. Upon heading in that direction, is there anything you guys would like to do before getting close to that place? Is there anything you guys want to say or do? So what's your battle plan? Or suppose our diplomacy plan? Go in there. Break the door if we need to. And mm -hmm. talk. And then fight. <laughs> if we have to. He just quietly looks at you <laughs> by to Zarel. Hmm. And then we will win. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Question. Hmm. Do we have any idea how to actually calm her down? She told us. Well, I don't, to, but... 
defeat her in combat when she rages. Currently, it doesn't seem we have to worry about that until tomorrow, though they may be showing some signs beforehand. We should be careful nonetheless. And afterwards, we will make more s'mores. <laughs> oh, you seem to have liked them. I didn't like him too. We power we'll from these s'mores. <laughs> we'll do this every day. I like him getting the wrong idea. It's not the power of friendship, it's the power of s'mores. So this weird new chocolatey thing is like the lap and shard of this place. <laughs> I found it enjoyable. I did too. You guys see more stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You guys head further out toward the area. As you do, you look up toward the reddish bricks of the castle in front of you. You start to notice that even though you saw this castle as red from far off, you get closer and closer to the castle until you've noticed you seem to pass through something similar to the light that you had passed through over at the lighthouse. As you pass through that light, that seeming red color that was over everything seems to disperse very quickly. You guys know that this is apparently some kind of a lighthouse, or at least built around one, so it makes somewhat sense that there's some kind of strange light here. But as you pass this area forward, I would like for each of you to roll me for your insight, please. Let's go, baby. Except for Zarel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't Zarel get to have insight for once? Don't worry about it. How about balloon? Wait, let's see here. <laughs> balloon. So insight. Balloon. I rolled a nineteen total. A plus um insight. Yeah, well, roll. my insight would be five, so that would be a. Seven. What I what do I have again? Plus five. Thirteen altogether. I, I can think. Congratulations, Muna and Gilgamesh. Eight. <laughs> Confetti falls on your head. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> That's funny. Um, Thank you for laughing. You guys approach. As you guys get closer and closer to this place. You start to notice the castle in all of its glory. You were told that this castle was very old. It has apparently been around for quite a long time and was abandoned at one point. As each of you get closer to it, you start to notice, uh, yeah, this place definitely looks like it's abandoned. Um, mm. Most of it seems completely desolate. Uh, a lot of the areas around it seems as if they are, uh, seems as if they're falling apart, even the archways you're walking through. As the four of you make your way forward, you can see that the lights are on up ahead of you, though you do note that most of the roof of this castle is completely destroyed. Give me a second. That's not the correct one. That's not it either. I wish that sure the Stormblood soundtrack had. I, I I wish the Stormblood soundtrack had like slightly different like things for it because uh, uh, <laughs> some, some they they have vastly different things. Don't worry about it. Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, asshole. Gilgamesh yeah. and Muna, mostly mm -hmm. Gilgamesh. As you guys are walking. Gilgamesh, you find stepping over and looking toward this area. You know that you're you're itching for a fight. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking fight this person. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna punch him, and then we'll then we'll uh, settle everything and save my world. <laughs> In that order. It all happens tonight, baby. <laughs> it's all happening tonight. No more fucking around. As you step forward. You hear a slight rumble around you. Mm -hmm. 
as you hear this slight rumble around you, you look back toward everyone. For a moment, you are able to try to call out, but you see a shadow appearing over top of the three of them. Muna seems to be the only other person to notice it. However, <laughs> Muna got much lower than you. <laughs> Muna, you are going to yes. have to roll for this while Gilgamesh does not. Muna, roll me for your finesse, please. Oh, Jesus. All right. For agility. Let me just frame my uh, picture on a wall quickly. It's... Hold on, I'm tagging. All right. Yeah, I couldn't mention it from Jet Set Radio. <laughs> that is a natural Not 20, 20 Muna. Not 20, Damn. baby. You move instinctively out of the way of this large shadow. Zarel and Hibiki, you do not. Oh no. And Zarel, hmm. things are particularly bad for you. What a do? <laughs> you hear the sound of something falling, Gilgamesh, as again, you look back to try to warn them as jumping down from on top of the area. Do, 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 do. We'll go this one. No, oh, that's way too. This one's good. <laughs> oh God, here we go. No! Jumping down oh. from up high on top of these arcways is a large bodied heartless. Oh. As it jumps oh, down, it lands directly on Zarel. While landing on Zarel, it is also going to be hitting Hibiki. Zarel, <laughs> save my sword! Quick balloon, fly away! <laughs> Zarel, the thing for you is, as this lands on you, I need you to roll me for your resilience, please. Let's see it, baby. Because depending on this roll, we'll see how much you might have left. Have fun Friday. <laughs> That's four, four Zarel. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Hibiki, I'm going to roll for you. Yeah. Hibiki, you're on. Hibiki! <laughs> what? You're only going to take four damage. <laughs> Is uh, there any way that I can react to reduce it? Nope. Damn. Cool. This is not something you saw coming. Well, four damage you said? Four damage. That is the lowest I think I could have. Uh, technically, I could have rolled one more or less. Um, as this lands on you, though, Zarel, this seems maybe targeted. I don't know. But, uh, Zarel, bring your health down to four. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, so well, you see, well, well, you see, uh, I may or may not be cashing in a card. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Thank God we got that fucking full heal. You you see it landed on, it landed on Zarel, but it kind of like its chain hit Hibiki like, ah. Owie. Ouchies. As Zarel. You feel in this moment of loss, you the loss of all your vitality for a moment. <laughs> I, I fucking lost it. Not <laughs> only that, Zarel, as you're on the ground, you are going to be stunned for this round. Okay. Hibiki, because you still have shield, you are not going to be stunned, luckily. Yay. If that broke your shield, you would have been. Muna. Wow. Yes. 
you got away from it so you are fine for this round and gilgamesh you are also fine for this round gilgamesh because you saw it coming you do not have to roll for initiative this round you are going to be at initiative 20. i'm going to beat this thing's fucking face it muna you and gilgamesh can go this round hibiki you can go at the very end of the round and Zarel. You will go after uh, Hibiki. However, this first round, you will do nothing with your turn. I will save your s'more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I didn't roll for. I didn't roll for Ramu. I didn't roll for Ramu. Oh, you didn't. Mm, does Ramu get fucking destroyed? Let's see. Ramu got it. They they moved. <laughs> Ramu's quick. I doesn't give a shit. What the fuck do you think this is? Coming out from around the archway in front of you, Gilgamesh, you see what appears to be three other figures. You see three other soldier heartless starting to make their way over towards you and Muna. Bloop. Let's get this guy on a bloop. There we are. Mm. Zarel, you can be you can share this space with them. <laughs> That's so kind of you. <laughs> Muna and Gilgamesh. Fuck. Gilgamesh, you can put yourself anywhere within two hexes of where you're standing right now. Uh is it nighttime still? It is nighttime, yes. You guys decided to come here as soon uh, as you left. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Think, think, think. Um. Damn you, day night cycles. Why do you exist here? So, th- uh, quick reminder throwing, I- throwing range on items. Uh, what is. I, w- I have a mini firebomb. What? What's how far do I need to be to toss it at the soldier art? Let's try. And I hit believe them all. we would go with. Two, I think it was two hexes plus your uh, physique to do at so a minimum have, of two hexes. So I have you an have eight range. Eight, then. Yes, you can toss them eight. eight four, four, Don't worry, Hibiki. Like I said, minimum of two hexes. <laughs> four, four, yeah. So you don't have you don't throw something and it go behind you by five. Hey, we're not like we're not. We're, it's not forty k. It's five. Four, five, six. Hooray! Seven. So I can throw. In, what's the mini firebombs range again? It's two or. It is within one, one hex of uh, uh, of where you throw it. Because remember, the mini firebomb yeah. is basically it's just uh, just fire. Yeah. And the fire it's does the fire. a uh, does a four square area or a four hex area. Okay. So you can choose if you throw it to hit these four these four these four all of them are unfortunately a little bit too far away for you to get get them together in them oh, but i can throw it right here and they would activate around this one right it would be four uh it would be four usually i would say you'd have to choose like the four that are like that um, okay uh, if you throw it directly in the center though fuck it you can get one range around that, that's that's fine I, i'll give you that Sick. Um, that seems that seems I, logical to me. Hmm. Uh, I would I would toss a mini fi- the mini fire bomb well, right there to hit two of them. Well, before you do that, uh, did you decide yeah. to move anywhere? Because uh, like I said, before combat, you can put yourself anywhere within two hexes of where you are. Yeah. Um. Well, this, let's this see, is one, what two, you four, get for four, getting five, that nineteen. Six. <laughs> so I can go. Okay. So that's so maximum range. <laughs> so if I can move. I move and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would still be out of range of hitting two of them. So I think it's better just to be a teensy bit closer to the big body. Okay. If you want to be right well, there and toss hmm. your, to- be able to toss your firebomb right there, that's perfectly fine with hmm. me. Hmm. Wait, I have a blitz attack. Wait a second. I have blitz somewhere. You have blitz. Uh, Ro- yeah, uh, Blitz is... For every hex move in this round, add one extra damage set the arts. So... 
can use this combo. Melee weapons use this card. Okay, it's after. React. Retaliate combo. Alright, here's a resort thing. I hmm. Would this count as a reaction attack? <laughs> you are currently not attacking anything. You are just moving into where you're at. Uh yeah. if you decide to start your turn, you're you're just starting a turn. Yeah, okay. I just had to make sure on that because art blitz is specifically about arts cards. Mm -hmm. Um I just had to make sure, you know. Yeah, but yeah. in any case, yeah, no. I'll just uh Yeet the start my turn. I'll yeet the fire bomb and then I'll turn towards the big body and start okay. working on that one. I will assume you're just going to use a use a yeah. red to red. do, the, to do yeah. the yeet. As you I'll yeet use a the fire dark bomb, red. anyway, I'm kidding. As you yeet a fire bomb, uh, you are going to do two d six fire damage within Sick. that area. So go ahead and roll me those two d six. We that's eight damage. It's eight. pretty Not good. Bad. To the two. Your firebomb is now gone forever. Yeah, I already got it. Right. It's been gone forever. No one can ever have it again. That was you, the last firebomb on Earth. As you release a, a little area of eight damage, they are still up. Mm -hmm. These soldier guys are are decently decently tough. They have little little armor on and everything. <laughs> I, remember, I remember them from the tunnels. Don't worry. <laughs> um. Well, if you remember, if you then. remember listening to to your boy. Uh, Heartless somewhat gets stronger as as uh, as the attack goes on. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mm -hmm. worry about that though; they look weak. <laughs> sure. It may, not have, it may not have anything to do with these guys in particular, but I do want you to keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Just, all right. Going from there. Going to get. Moving up so Gilgamesh, if like you to... if you uh mm -hmm. would like to roll me for your experience real quick, because you're about to okay. do something that I that I feel that Gilgamesh might remember. E. Oh, this, have, this thing has reactions, doesn't it? It does, but that's not what I'm rolling you for. Four. Uh, well, it, uh, it has reactions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys have only fought one of these guys, so I, I there's not really a lot uh mm -hmm. That you've gained from it yet? It's yeah. I don't know what else. Mm -hmm. Agility. Okay. <clears throat> I guess. Uh, very least, I'm gonna try and move into melee range with the big body. Yep, the big body right is there. basically taking up all of these, all these hexes here. Mm -hmm. So you are you are definitely within range to hit him there. Okay. Um Zarel is fucking hurt. Um, Zarel is on the ground. Like you saw like you saw like the, the shimmer of their shield being destroyed and they're you just You also saw the shimmer in her in his eyes leave a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this poor man's he he had a heartfelt talk but he That was he, hours he, ago, who cares? <laughs> he, he we had a great time, the s'mores and now this. I had to remember to use the loss. Last time I didn't. <laughs> he, um, Never mind the darkness is eternal. <laughs> um, I want to shove this fucking thing away from Zarel, uh, but they're huge. It is very big, very large. One thing you do remember from this guy is it was very strong. Is Zarel actually pinned under the big body? They are or still is it under it. Yes. Fuck. Technically, you can imagine this guy sitting on his ass right now. <laughs> I want to try and get him in the air. You can try, yeah. You have you have your upgraded smash. Something that couldn't be moved has a chance of being moved. I gotta try it. I gotta try and help Zara help Zara. You have to do an attack first before you can try a combo. Alright, let's fucking go then. Uh, desperate times means desperate measures. Gilgamesh is unhappy. You are using your darkness, uh, you're using your darkness AP? Yes. Roll with advantage. It's nighttime. All right. Oh, fuck, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Booyah says that darkness is a bad thing. <laughs> Booyah, what does she know? She only has a fucked up demon keyblade or whatever. 18? That's pretty good. 18 is pretty uh, good. 
18 plus your six, that is a 24. That is a hit. <laughs> As you strike it, uh, do you want to pummel since you're not planning on doing too many other attacks this round? I can't pummel Stone Giant's Warhammer. Uh, where is the thing? Uh, I believe that I said you can only swing it three times around. That's what it was. Not pummel. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Which is why, which is why I was gonna be like, if you wanted to use pummel, you could this in this instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do. I'll, I'll go for the pummel. Okay. Do I also get advantage on the pummel? Mm, sure. I forget if I forget if we can establish <laughs> that or not. Sure, I, it's that's been a fine. while since I used darkness. 13. Another eighteen. 18. All right. Your uh, your smash was two d eight plus your strength because of your uh, because of your thing. Yes, so you are going to be two d eight plus six, and then roll me plus. another d four for the pummel. And also, I think another d six because yeah, the warhammer does an extra d six on top of that. Yep, and roll cool. that twice actually because you're hitting it technically with it twice. Cool, that's fucking so, awesome. All right, there you go. That is your full damage. Damble. Plus six. Wow. Okay. Two. So two, six. That is 17 Twelve. damage. As you hit this guy, you will take note that hitting him the way you did, Gilgamesh, roll me experience. Yay. I'll use the darkness because why not? It's fitting. Let's do this. <laughs> Uh, 17. You feel that he does not take all of that damage. Oh, right. They have resistance. You feel like whenever you smashed into him, you saw the belly jiggle so much that the belly jiggle seemed to block a lot of the damage. However, Wait. you can now combo. I think I remember what this thing's <laughs> bullshit was. I remember now. I actually remember now. <laughs> Oh, you, you didn't know? I forgot. Leave me alone. Well, luckily, it doesn't really matter for the combo attack because no. you're not planning on doing any uh, yeah. any damage with it. Yeah, I just want to knock him. I forgore, but now I unforgore. <laughs> I want to yeah. try, not... try and knock it into the air. You can definitely do so. Go ahead and roll me. He unforgore, guys. He unforgore. Everybody fucking clap. I'm not gonna tell you what it is until in, until it's, it's brought up because I, I just in case. <laughs> Fifteen. That's twenty-one. Do, 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 do. For that. Twenty-one oh, is a hit. Yeah. Da, 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 da. However, I believe it has to roll. Yeah, it has to yeah. roll resilience or strength. Do, 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 do. So it'll be a DC, I believe, sixteen for you. Yes. Do, do, sixteen. Do, do. It will use its resilience probably really huge resilience is its, is its highest stat yes i hate that do, 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 do. unfortunately it will mm. unless you want me to re-roll it fuck it we ball it has to get lower than a 12. come on disadvantage oh that's a 19 unless somebody else wants me to re-roll it oh well does I'm anybody else roll you have a reroll? I have a reroll. You gave me one today. All right. We're, we're, we're rerolling uh, it again. Is that uh -huh. what these R's are? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have one. All have right. One. Eat it. Put it in your mouth. One more. Put it, one shove more. it down the heartless's throat. Shove it down the heartless's back. That is a natural Let's go. one. There we go. Final it literally, the it literally beat it by one whenever, uh, whenever, uh, I had, it had a feeling. A it had to get an 11 or lower. <laughs> little bastard. As it gets did you need another thrown R? up into the air. You oh, did you did okay, your you did your R. Yeah. So you did oh, one. I yes. do one at a time? No. Uh, it, it failed no. though. You don't have to do it again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it just each each R is a single reroll. Yeah. As it gets knocked up into the air. Who's next in the initiative? I believe the next I believe would be it was because I didn't have you guys roll for this one. Uh, yes, next is Muna. Muna, okay. it will be First in the all, air until until someone knocks it down or its turn happens. So. 
Okay, first of all, whoop, I'm going to throw a Geo Potion at Zarel. The five is the range for my throw, right? Or is it something else? It's two plus your strength. Yep. So, so oh. it's just two for you. Minimum two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me get let me get there, Zarel. Hold on. <laughs> all right. How much move? Don't worry, I'm not again? going anywhere. I uh, moved two where were you at? You removed two? I was here. Okay. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. I could say. Da, 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 da. Yeah, if you wanted to move two more, you could get right there to throw at a two range. All right, Geo Potion. You throw the Geo Potion. As you throw the Geo Potion, I believe this is the shield, correct? Yeah, Geo Protect. Do, do, do. Yep, Geo Protect. Looking over at Geo Protect. Da, 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 da. Right, you don't have Geo Protect. <laughs> I do. It's half damage. How come we don't have it on your thing? <clears throat> mm. it, it, like it's, it's, still, it's still marked out for you. No, isn't it the enchantment? No, that's that's what. This oh, it's is. protect. Yeah. Oh, because oh, protect my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me fucking cover <laughs> that up again, using me to get uh, good knowledge on. Oh no, the protect things. of this magic. Spell is the same as every other fucking protect spell. No, uh, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's different. Look at it. It's a different so one. Bad. It's a different He's spell. OC. It's an OC. Leave me alone. <laughs> Original the character. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna clone this so I can put it back here and, and read it. Blue, 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 blue. So that no one else can see it but me. <laughs> okay. You will get a plus 10 shield and plus 2 AC. However, this AC is removed as soon as you lose your shield. Okay, can I stack it with a fire protect? Flame barrier on a target for three turns. Uh, yep, because it's not the one. It's not one that uh, that uh, overacts with it. So yes, if you want to, also, you can also do that. Was throwing the potion a red? Also, fire or? protect doesn't really do anything for them. Yeah, <laughs> it deals well, damage. It's gonna do something when it lands and tries to attack Zarel again because it's a bitch. <laughs> you can always pull okay. Zarel. Yeah, out. yeah, you can do that. Yeah. No, they can't. They they're a little bit too far away. All right, you got a tiny little wizard legs. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, you're a little. But yeah, closer. you can you can throw a little flaming barrier on them to have them deal one d four fire damage to things. And with an was. Them. Was the potion throw red, a green, or a free? Uh, it doesn't matter. You have to choose one. There you go. If <laughs> I use red, cool. Do, all right. That will cost one of your manas. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna put your your manas closer to your thing. That way, we know which ones you use and which ones you don't. <laughs> that sounds right. smart. All right. Right. all right. So, a collecting a flaming berry for three turns. Zarel, for the next three turns, you have a flaming aura Whoa. around you. It doesn't give oh, you any right more protection, out. but it does hurt things around you. <laughs> and Thank finally, you. I'm going to give Zarel a fire flow because he needs to run. That is true. They do need to run. They are going to be stunned for this round, however, so they cannot run. Yeah. Yeah. They won't have a turn this time around. I don't think I have anything to cure that, though, so I think that's the best I can do. <laughs> um... I want my little boo boo kiss. You get covered in you get covered in three different buffs. Uh, you're you're having you're having some good things go on because of that. However, it is it still hurts. Lots hurt. Thank you, Buddha. It is, <laughs> it, is, it is gonna go to his turn. Uh, I'm not gonna have up. him do damage as he lands. <laughs> <laughs> I was, looking, I was looking at my reactions like, what can I do to fucking stop that? <laughs> if you would like Gilgamesh, I will give you, yep. if you want to use a reaction to attack it and forego damage, you can move it off of Zarel. I would love to hurt like Sisyphus and yeet this fucking thing away from us. Roll me another, uh, roll me another attack. If you hit... All right. Then you will move Zarel. You will move um, uh, this thing off of Zarel, and I will say, depending on whatever mm. you roll, depending on whatever you roll, I will give you uh, so many hexes. 
Uh, what if I use a hero die? Yeah, that's that, that, that's what they're that's what they're there for. I'd like to use. Uh, I'll, you have to I'll roll it. Also, yeah. And if you get on the other side, like you just did, it is gone. Cool. Uh, that's an absolute not happening. That is a it looks three. like. Does anybody want to give a reroll? Gilgamesh had a fleeting. Gilgamesh, oh, don't wait, worry about it. Roll me that fleeting. Okay. Can I get the hero die back? In? Huh? Oh. Twelve. Mm. Uh, reroll. Uh, uh, all right, uh, reroll. 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 Okay. Uh, hey, 15. 15 is better. Re-roll. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Jesus, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> You're violently for yeeting things at my carefully arranged circles. There one, we go. You... 21. Yeah, you finally hit it. Poor Zang. You bring the <laughs> stone giant's warhammer around. You slam it back into them as they um, as they go to land. I would say that with a 21, you can move them three hexes if you'd like. Uh, so like starting from like from this hex wherever right you it's... wherever you want, it can go three hexes this way, three hexes that way, three hexes that way, wherever you want. Can I force it to crash into that cart? <laughs> the cart's already busted. Um, if you move it three hexes, remember, it'll be one, two, three. Yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> let's, I want to send him this way, away from us. This way. So one, two, three. You can do Yeet. that. As it gets yeeted, it goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Landing on on its belly and then jumping to its feet. Do, 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 do. Will it go after Zarel? Will it go after Zarel or will it go after Gilgamesh? I'm ex- Please I used dark- Gilgamesh. Please I- Gilgamesh. <laughs> yeah, I did exude some darkness. I don't know if that's like a thing or not. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna roll for it. Dark. Heartless I don't know. Like, if it really mm. place to roll, just fucking die getting squashed on. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'm gonna roll for it. <laughs> like rocks fall. It is not very smart. It is going to go for Gilgamesh. (laughs) As it goes over towards you, Gilgamesh, it's going to spread its arms. It is going to try to jump on you. Oh, shit. (laughs) It is dark. He has advantage. I kept losing my dice, so I made them big. (laughs) Oh, damn it. (laughs) As it Does jumps, it... what is your AC? Uh, it's still not good because I buffed into damage and not six to 12. <laughs> I just need to know how much it beat you by. Um, yeah. As he jumps up and goes to land on you, because it beats your AC by a decent amount. Gilgamesh. That's pretty good for you, Gilgamesh. Take 11 too- damage. It does 2d20 of damage. <laughs> that shield's gone. Um, it would usually only do a d20 because it's dark. However, uh, if it does beat your uh, beat your AC by a certain amount, because he's so big and heavy, he does big damage, big double damage. Man, I better have that trait if I get my dragon powers back. <laughs> that was bullshit. As he jumps up and lands on you, Gilgamesh, roll me resilience or be prone. Oh, fucking God. All right. Two. So. Ten. Gilgamesh, you fall prone under this creature as it lands on you the same way it landed on Zarel, only not from on top of a fucking arc. Um, yeah. Scott. As it lands on you and then bubbles up, he's going to comically swing his hand like in a windmill behind him for a second and then throw it forward in a punch. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is going to hit. This is mm-hmm. not double damage, luckily for you, but it is still the D20. Because it is darkness. Oh! Uh-oh. Gilgamesh, take 18 damage. Yeah. Oh my god. As he hits you with the big slam, the big punch. <laughs> 
Do, 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 do. Ah. That is its turn. These guys are going to go. They will one, two. By the way, can I told you guys the reason these guys these guys have so little movement? Why? I imagine they have four. But every time I imagine them moving, I imagine them in the cutscenes in Kingdom Hearts where they zigzag. They're just, they're, just, they're just all over the place and seizing out. <laughs> so I just make, I make it where they can move too. I mean, they're, they're, they're we like make fun pods, of them. We make fun mean. of them, but they are dodging those invisible alligators like there's no tomorrow. Doop. Man. Doop. They're master survivalists in the Everglades. Doop. Doop. <laughs> And then they will use their last AP. Dupe, 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 dupe. They're coming. <laughs> oh, Lord, they coming. Here comes but, but the oh, boys. Lord, here. We go to Hibiki. Hello, boys. Hibiki, you're at the bottom of the initiative because of what happened to you. You get up from uh, from getting from having to dive out of the way and taking a bit of damage. You look back mm -hmm. at Zarel, who's been basically crushed but is now covered in geo and fire. <laughs> My God. Rocks and fires will save you, Hooka Pooka. <laughs> They're not helping, but I do appreciate the pot. Well, there's only one there's thing I can fire do. fire Nikes. <laughs> What's that one thing you can do, Ibuki? Uh, My range with arrow is two, so I can hit this thing from where I am with arrow, correct? You can, I will, uh, I will get you uh, with a thing right there. You do know that it took a lot of effort to throw this thing into the air last time. So even if I were to say arrow status, that wouldn't work on it? Probably not. With how you just saw what happened with the smash, literally the only reason the smash worked is because he has mastered smash. Okay. Mastered smash allows for things that can't be thrown up to still potentially be thrown up. I make and the rules of reality here. Then I guess there's he too heavy. three other targets for that move then. Yeah. My movement should be two plus three, I think. You Could guys have, have you guys have three hexes and you yep. guys can move extra if you have the um, uh, the things. So, yep, you have I the have plus two because of dash. Yes, I can move five. I will go one. I will also remind you, roll me for experience before you move. Because you were the one that was actually potentially more likely to get this than Gilgamesh. I mean, I know that you got to hit him in the back, but. Yeah. Uh, I've recorded that for too late. You do, know that, you do know that you have to hit him in the back. 19. That is what I was going to tell you. Uh, yeah. it is also, uh, it is also, he will take half damage from anything in the front, but he will take double from anything in the back. Mm. He's very weak in the back. You got a squishy butt. I'm telling you because you have things that do extra to the back. <laughs> oh yeah, you're the rogue, you're the fucking rogue again. <laughs> I am the rogue again. <laughs> hey, you can always, though. you can always give it to Muna. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Uh, remember, you can't go into that space. That's the space he's occupying. One, two, uh, three, four, five. That's the space he's occupying. There you go. Five. <laughs> Zooming. He is. He is this entire zone. He is. Bah. He big. He big body. <laughs> I will not but do the stab with my. I like how the dad. big thing with this, I, I just, as I <laughs> mentioned to you guys last time, uh, do, 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 the only spaces he's vulnerable are basically these three spaces for melee. Yeah. Yeah. I just rip. We're in the same goddamn pose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go for an attack with your dagger? Yeah. Do, 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 do. The jeweled dagger has a keychain on it. I'm guessing that means it's this keychain. So you do have yeah. plus two to your attack onto him. Yeah. Let's get going. Let's do it. First attack. Uh, does a ten plus agility. That's fifteen plus two. That is seventeen. Does a seventeen hit? 17 
just my hits. Fuck you. Ooh, nice. <laughs> my hits. I will grab one of these. I will now go for the for the the combo. His AC is seventeen. <laughs> what a bitch. I'll go for the combo now. You're doing strike or you're doing strike combo. Okay. I think wait. Let me just be sure. I think the only other one you could do is smash, but you can't really. It's not not, a not with a dagger. Yeah. So yeah, you you can do strike combo or you can do arts combo. Are the only two you can do. Arts combo. Is there any reason to do arts combo? Not really. It does I mean, slightly it... more damage, but you can only do it once. Slightly more damage, but once. Yeah. It does a D6 instead of a D4, but your combo over here does two D4. Yeah, so I'll just do the 2d4. But you have to hit with both of them, is the thing with yeah, the other combo. Yeah. All right, first we're doing attack. strike. Strike hits, first Ooh. one. Hit with the second one. Second attack. Come on, baby. That's a hit. That is a hit. Let's so go. You do... What is the extra from the uh, from the dagger again? Uh, it adds, your, adds another weapon die. So, you've done... 6d4 so far from a back attack. Hell yeah. Would you like to do a finish? I would like to do a finish. Okay. You have to, you you don't have to hit, but there's three three attacks for you. You know what? I feel risky today. I'll just roll all three of them at once. Oh shit. Go, 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 oh, go. Fuck. <laughs> this and... one stopped for some reason. <laughs> that will stop for some reason. Roll, to roll the, it? Yeah, roll these again. Roll roll mm -hmm. all of them again. Because they, okay. they, they did weird. That's a hit. That is a miss and a miss. No! Alright, oh. so here are your dice you will do. However, he's vulnerable to attacks from the back. <laughs> 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 Get all those dice. Ooh, I see a couple fours. If only Marco had this power. 39 damage. Holy oh. shit. Let me hold the on. knife is strong. 39 damage. How much health does this thing actually have? Do, 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 do. It took pain earlier. Do, do, do. As you stab into this thing, you note that as soon as you do this, its eyes go wide and then poof. Pop. You pop it like a balloon. <laughs> the balloon that up, around, balloon you, bitch. you see a big fat fucking heart fly away. <laughs> and now he aimed his dagger towards the three soldiers. <laughs> Roll me for, ready to go. Roll me as you do this. <laughs> roll me for Man, your roll me for your negotiation. It's a negotiation. Sure thing. Oh. I'm not twenty. They all three turn around and start going the other direction. Dude, I have an idea. <laughs> really? What is it? Let's leave. <laughs> it is up to you guys if you want to let them, but they're gonna try to run into the trees. I I'm just gonna stick with Zarel. <laughs> they literally just turn toward these trees and they start running. Never mind. This shit sucks. <laughs> Hit the bricks. Hit the deck. I want to know from you guys before we go on. Do you want to let them go? And we can move on and try to get Zarel back on their feet. Basically, are we mm. ending this combat? Yeah, Once your guys' decision. I, I, I'm sticking with Zarel. I'm Once again, Gilgamesh is struggling, but he knows Zarel is probably broken in several places. So it's just a thing of these two can't lift Zarel. He so Gilgamesh yeah. will let them go. Yeah, let him letting them go. Oh, just go as, because he, these two can do it, of course. Not that. As these three <laughs> run off very slowly, zigzagging away, the serpentining because they know he has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> they eventually get into the foliage of the tree. Zarel, you lived through your lost card. Hey, it doesn't <laughs> feel like it. 
<laughs> because you <laughs> lived love. through your lost card, you were gonna gain two points. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I literally intimidated them into leaving. They saw the big one go down in one turn and they're like, no thanks. <laughs> It's like, oh, we bit off more than we could chew with this one. They're like, maybe it's not worth it. I think we should go. I we think should, we, should, we should leave. The base <laughs> HP without me rolling for things and like for like special ones or anything like that is 50 for those guys. Okay, so let's okay. get this over with. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it there. I'm just gonna, you're gonna just dump it more into recipients. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay. so tanky. You are at the maximum resilience currently. So you're going to gain. You are at a 100 drive. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, get out of here, shield. Are you going to are you going to put it into shield or you're going to put it into HP? I'll put it into shield. OK, so you're going to have 25 it's been shield. a while. Yeah. 25 shield. Uh, which will immediately go to zero shield because <laughs> yay! <you know. laughs> it's a later time thing. Oh right, after like twenty five. Is it minus twenty five? Fuck, it's minus twenty five. Yeah, it's, it? yeah, it's minus twenty five. Minus twenty five, and then minus seventy one. Minus seventy one. <laughs> <laughs> You kind of feel worse after you get those points. <laughs> like collectively. I feel like, I like, lost more health. <laughs> <laughs> like collectively. Like. I don't know a lot about math, but it does feel like I've somehow lost more health. <laughs> the adrenaline is wearing off. Are you uh, okay, Zarel? Is there anything you guys can see do? the um, crater that is in the center of Zarel? <laughs> we. Uh, I just <laughs> learned new things like bones. I did not know I could break. I, I I just drew what Zarel's crater looked like. Looks like, uh, but uh, yeah, I thought I had more time to draw it. <laughs> this is a suspiciously Yamcha-shaped crater. <laughs> <laughs> like I gave them Nikes a shield. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Also, there's a uh, Rubik. You're missing one thing here. I'll help you. So uh, Rubik to Haiti. He's got a fish in it. You see, in the crater, <laughs> in the crater with Zarel, uh, as the thing had popped, you see that there is uh, 500 money for each of you. And you also see that there is a tiny little green box, mm -hmm. like literally can fit in your fucking hand. Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> First, importantly, picks up the s'more to make sure it's okay. <laughs> no worry, it's in a beautiful broken... balloon. Glomash just picks up the broken child. Just... <laughs> and, and the heaviest thing of all shall go to <laughs> Hibiki as he picks up the tiny green box. Quick, roll strength, Hibiki. Hibiki, as you pick up the tiny green box, you do find that inside uh, there is what appears to be a small, uh, it is it is a lot heavier than it would seem. As you pick up the box and you open it, the box around this item seems to disappear into magical like little dust. That, doo -doo -doo, uh, and you see that there is literally an ingot of some kind of metal. Oh. Holy shit, goddess metal? You got, you, got a little, you got a little ingot of metal. Gilgamesh is gonna go fucking yeah. court those breaks in the tree line where? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's find out <laughs> but yeah uh, little, little, little metal ingot little, little, little good little good little guy little metal ingot little metal, little metal. <laughs> you free handle yourselves quite well well it merely got the drop on us you as well That's I assume only... anyone else it would have landed on would have died <laughs> well, well it you. is my duty to help with that. I can't feel my legs. That I did the best I stuff. could do, but at least you can move your legs really fast because I boosted them for you. 
He just looks down his legs <laughs> like they're noodles. Like <laughs> he's got like the Adidas Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> As Zarel is laying there, we are gonna get to and we are gonna get to the third turn of the initiative uh, really quick, just because it didn't happen. Um, you guys hear a strange very low very lo very loud rumbling roar that seems to go around oh, the shit. entire area as you hear this roar let me get let me get a let me get a darker soundtrack really quick let me get a let me get a no not all of one. us back to back around Zarel. absolutely actually you get a humongous roar going through the area just very briefly and as it does you guys see a wave of that red light that again is usually covering this area uh, seem to emanate out from the inside of this castle. As that wave of red light comes out, it immediately seems to dissipate. And as that wet red wave comes out and goes around you, just like the normal light that you guys remember seeing back over at the lighthouse, Zarel, as well as Gilgamesh, I believe we're the only two, and no, and Hibiki. All of you will gain 10 shield. Oh. Like, oh, like nice. gain 10 or up to max? Up to max. Okay, heal five, 10 shield. Okay. Interesting. As that happens, we return to the less ominous music. That would have been a lot more ominous during the battle, you see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'd have been like, oh, what are you doing, DM? What are you do? What are you giving me that for? <laughs> What are you doing? What's what are you doing? Box? The castle just sneezed. I think that's fury. That's probably a fair assumption. <sighs> she wasn't supposed to go crazy until tomorrow, though. How could she tell what time it is locked in the bottom of a castle? <sighs> that computer thingy or whatever? They can tell you what time it is. I mean, maybe it's... she saw what happened to Zarel. It was a disastrous, and it made it made me mad. I know that. <laughs> also, yes, it can tell the time, but also is there... it is pretty late, and we don't know how her magic works. It could be a strike of midnight sort of thing. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, uh... he'll go to my help Zarel, but just just pick up, help sling over. Don't shoulder. worry. I may have approximately what I feel maybe four of my HP left, but that is not zero! As you guys start <laughs> moving toward the area, <laughs> you hear coming from the inside what appears to be a small commotion. You hear the sound of something shuffling around or moving. Uh, you hear something break inside uh, as something is moving inside of that area. Weapons at the ready. It's still in there, though. Would you guys like to make your way through the door? Or would you guys Hello, like to wait me. out here and see if it comes out here? Let's wait out here. Let's not cause trouble. In fact, is there a place Are to hide? Are you sure? I think we should knock politely. Maybe it'll go in. <laughs> Looks at the lack of door on the door frame. <laughs> you guys uh, wait out here it's... for a decent <laughs> amount of time. It takes a couple of minutes before you guys see anything. However, after a couple of minutes go by, you hear another one of those roars. As you do, that red light goes over you once again, and you hear more shuffling and more running from inside. As you hear that shuffling and running, doo -doo -doo -doo. you see what you don't want to see running out from inside of there. Uh-oh. You see him running as if he's trying to get away from whatever's in there. <laughs> as he is running himself away, you also notice he's followed by two smaller creatures. Both of them look more fucked up than he does. And as soon as he steps out, you guys hear another one of those roars. The red light goes over the area once again. As it does, just like the light from back at the lighthouse, these two heartless are vanquished. Uh 
This man is now oh. jogging out. He doesn't seem to notice you guys. He's not really going towards you. He seems to be running away. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. I would like to get in position to uh, sneak attack him as he comes by in the back. Roll me for your agility, Hibiki. <laughs> Of course. I would also like to uh, exchange one of my many fate cards that I have here in order to have some 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 guidance. You can definitely Man, yeah. guys is because you are waiting outside of here. You can make mm -hmm. yourselves anywhere you would like to be within this square. Bloop. Okay. Interesting. Because you guys literally waited for them to come out here. Uh, that being said. Uh, hmm. You're gonna get some goddess points. No, uh, uh, or some guidance tokens. I mean, yee, here's my 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 funny token here. Okay. Hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, Let's hide you in this hole over here, Sorel. <laughs> I would never hide from battle. <laughs> you should. <laughs> That's not what I said. E. And do I want to just use my last hero? die on this i'm gonna be really honest funny. with you if you're planning on trying to sneak attack this guy he might not survive the round so <laughs> cool. cool cool i will just yeah. roll with one he's advantage. just literally jogging out like i'm getting out of here <laughs> first is 17 i'm getting out of you guys and second roll is 13 so 17 plus i guess five, five. so 20 so three you guys you guys see Hibiki running off to the opposite direction of all of you. Uh, oh, you, you guys, did did you want to be directly in the center? I tried to stop Sorel, so wherever Sorel goes, I'm- Yeah, Sorel's like, no, stop. I can still fight! <laughs> you want to be right there, Sorel? <laughs> yeah. Muna, where are you going? In front of Sorel, trying to stop him. <laughs> all right. Hibiki, I'm going to have you go first in this initiative because of your because of your role. Fuck yeah. You would still have to get behind this man's, but I would say with him rushing forward, going toward the others, he would get around here. That's the best I can give you from where you're at. Well, that's fine. Wait, wait, let me see. It's hard to see on this particular part. Yeah, yeah, I get that. So I guess I would I have to turn on. I can turn on the. the uh, I can turn on the uh, the uh, uh, snapping if you want. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Enter. There we go. I think we're going now, to distract snap. it, so don't worry. Cool. You can now snap to different places. You now know where know where the where the hexes are. Cool, cool. So one. Let me just mark this here. It's one, two, three, four, five. But I need to get like to this one here, wouldn't I? If you're mm. there, do, 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 he's running. I'd say you. I'd say you could have it. I, I'll give that one to you. You'll give that one to me? Fuck yeah. yeah. Because he's on he's on a weird space when it comes to these. Yeah. I, so I would give that one to you. You have to I will now begin striking this motherfucker. I will remind you of the HP these guys have. You got really good last time, but you did miss an attack. You missed two attacks last time. However, this one most likely is at his max health. So Yeah. Go I, for the go for the I rolls. ran out of free rolls. I gave them all to a dragon. Your first Thank roll. You. I will now go for my first roll. <laughs> well, here's, here's another dice. I have all the rocket tokens. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of the snaps. I'm gonna get rid of the snapping now. Uh, 14. That's a hit. That's a hit. You're gonna go for and combo. I'm guessing. Combo. Okay. First attack. Oop. Hit. Oh. Your, Second your roll. Thing. Ah, damn it! I missed one of them. No. Let me see. Ah. I'm gonna scroll up. See if you have any things. Chat, tell me y'all gave me one, please. Uh, <laughs> does not look like there was a Hibiki one. Unless somebody uses a reroll, you are that. That is a miss. Damn. I will not oh, go God, for man. the second attack of the combo.
The 19, 19. is a hit. That's hell yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot go for a finish because you missed one part of the combo. <laughs> you have to go for a for a uh, an attack now. Can I just go for the a second combo? You have to go for an attack. I have to go for an attack. Yep, okay. You can only combo after a successful attack. Damn. Then I will just do a regular attack. Yep. You have a fleeting. Oh. oh. I have a fleeting. Oh. And then the final roll. Ooh, oh. almost. Uh. Oh, that's oh. bullshit. You still get these four. Can I get 50 damage out of 44? Oh, technically, I believe, actually, hold on. It'd be that and then that and then it's doubled. So it is 22 damage. 22 you did good. Damage. Yeah. It's good damage. As he gets struck in the back several times by Hibiki, he then skids to a stop and he's ready to fight. He puts his dukes up and like the old timey like uh like like fucking cartoons like mm -hmm. <laughs> as he does this everybody roll me a d20 other than hibiki all right okay we will see where you guys are in this initiative the first initiative was a was a surprise haha -ha initiative so we didn't get the roll for an actual initiative then uh, i rolled a seven Please. okay <laughs> Two, yeah. two, four, seven, and three. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's we his turn. Really, we were all really banking on Kibiki one shotting it. He we has two really attacks sleepy. he can do. He could either jump on Hibiki, regularly jump attack up. Hibiki, or charge through the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for us to fly away like cartoon characters. The one thing I'm worried about if he charges through you guys is our good s'more over here. <laughs> the s'more! Would you have no. moved, would you have put your I s'more? Know you cannot let the s'more go. Would you have put your s'more in a different area? <laughs> <laughs> Ramu is protecting it. Ramu is protecting the s'more. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give yeah, that to I you. Told, while I was trying to stop Zarel, I let I gave Ramu the s'more balloon. It is going to try to charge through you guys. In doing oh, so, man. it will leave your range, Hibiki. I believe I have a thing for that. Is that, is that, is that like, is it arts? Do, 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 or do. is that, because it's a reaction to hit it, right? Yep, you can go to hit him. Yeah, we'll do him a stab in the back. Gonna go for a strike. Come on. Like, no, Sorel, you shouldn't oh, do. That is a G He seems to like look back at you for a second and then there is a grumble from behind. You see him like move his feet like he's in an old timey cartoon and then start charging toward these two. Uh, Muna and Zarel, what are you guys going to do as this man is charging through you? <laughs> I would like to have my eyeballs pop out of my head and expand <laughs> while there's like a. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'm moving, move on. I'm moving, moving away. I'm not. They are within range of you to protect them. <laughs> <laughs> that is what's happening. Muna. <laughs> okay. You were okay. going to protect uh, Zarel. Zarel instead is going to protect you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's not how it works. Hold on. <laughs> Zarel. Stop it! I. This charge is going to hurt. Oh, However, yeah. you have a chance to block this entirely. If you outstrength him, then he cannot charge through you. <laughs> oh, this is, this is fucking. Uh... Zarel, well, roll me for your strength. If a hero dies, needed to be used at any point in my life. <laughs> Do it. He was like seven at once. Go. You have one fleeting as well, I believe. Yay. That is a natural okay. fucking 20. What do you need? Cool. Let's, put let's, see, <laughs> let's see if they get a natural 20 to, to, to respond. Don't, they, don't chill fast me, dude. Because if they do, <laughs> they have more strength than you by one. <laughs> I outstrength the big body. Oh my oh, god! No fucking way! Oh. 
Someone no. needs someone needs to give me a reroll. <laughs> Come on. I mean, if I'm gonna die, I wanna die like uh, this. Uh, 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 I'm out. I'm out. Uh, Hickey, do you have any rerolls? I don't. But the Zorro only has one that three. has them are Zorro. <laughs> I mean, can't Zorro force rerolls on the enemy? I did. Okay, all right. That's, that's if Fomal is willing. Here's the question. <laughs> okay. Here's the question. Yeah. If I don't block this, then it'll hit Muna. It will. That's all I care about. Here you go. Have your <laughs> it will one billion percent. There is nothing Muna can do against that nat twenty charge. There is nothing Muna How can do. How the fuck does it nat twenty back at nat twenty? <laughs> I can't believe I almost chill fucked you. <laughs> you fucking chill fucked me. Roll again, bitch. <laughs> Let's see if it gets another twenty. My if it gets another twenty, I'm gonna fucking cry. It's a seven. <laughs> I was really hoping that was a one because that'd be really funny. You put your stony sword in front of you as you drag Muna back. You step forward, you put it out, and you just go no, or however you want to say it, or just because uh, you're hurt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> as this thing belly flops into it, you feel just like a just a humongous amount of pressure on you you go back slightly but then you re push back with all of your might and you knock this man's back whenever a charge fails he goes prone the problem with that charge is if that would have succeeded that would have been 3d20s at nighttime oh. so, so we'd be dead that's what you're saying yes <laughs> Both of you would have been KO'd the fuck. Yo, what the fuck can we reduce their fucking nighttime bullshit? What the fuck? Uh, well, you need, we you need some light power. You need some light power, man. Heartless are strong at night. <laughs> I, we need to get a, we need to get some of that fire or something. We need <laughs> light. We need these I things. love how we're like showing up the Straws Castle. Like, why the fuck is he so powerful? <laughs> these things. These Actually, things yeah. take over worlds at night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, know I, I, I know. Wait, I know what we need to do. We need, we each need a Alan Wake flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> we are gonna go to Muna's turn. <coughs> Hello, I'm Muna. Hi. Because you got a seven, which means you're higher than the other two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's see the situation around us. Okay, they're knocked over. I'm going to try to f do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? There I am. Okay, I'm going to try to freeze them. And by that I mean use what blizzard magic. I will admit, I, or I will bring, I will bring it up to you the same way I brought the arrow thing up to the others. He is very hard to do certain statuses to. Would you like to just do damage or would you like to yeah, attempt that's, the status? I realized that. That's why I changed to just okay. use Blizzard. You can't get him in the back right now. However, you do note, well, first roll me a magic actually. You have really high magic though. So I doubt that it's gonna. <laughs> Let's get the nat one, baby. Let's get that nat one. No, it, no. You notice as you hit him with this, he does not reduce magic damage. Oh. <laughs> oh. Roll me four, roll me four d4s. Let me find you some d4s to roll. Here they are. All right. Oh, that they're on. They're on a. They're on a bit of an incline. There you go. There, there we go. Do, 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 do. Twelve damage. Wait. Jeez. All was four of those? Oh, no, I thought I for a second I thought they were all fours. No, you only need three to be three to have. It would have been sixteen. I'm a dumbass. Um, <laughs> Twelve damage though is really good. Yeah, it's almost like we have a. Geez, the moon is a mage. That Crazy. is one. That is one of your AP. <laughs> it is still your turn, Muna. Hold on. Something happened. I need to check this quick. Okay. It's only, it really just occurs to me now that all four of us picked one of the wet, or like each of the four kind of like three decisions at the start of Kingdom Hearts. We got wizard, warrior, defender, and gun. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> 
He didn't Before choose, he didn't choose <laughs> gun. The gun chose him. <laughs> Long ago, the four elements lived in It's <laughs> true. We had the EVP gun emote before he ever had a gun. And I love that. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the stuff that came no up. Problem, no problem, no problem. I, I, uh, I'll never forget you. Are, you are still in your turn. You have used one, you have used one action. Yes. Okay. So next I'm going to throw fire at them. Okay. Oh. Interesting decision. I didn't see it coming. Ten plus mm. your seven, that hits. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot your magic's huge. <laughs> that is going to be 2d6 fire damage. That was right where the d6 is. Right there they now. go. There you go. Here we go. Oh. oh. Nine Whoa. damage. It has taken 22 and 21 so far. Is it still alive? It is. <laughs> it has taken 43 uh, damage altogether. If all that right, gives you another... any, if that gives you any indication of how much HP he has left. And uh, another blizzard, just to spice things up. All right. He's so loud. That's a hit. Four <laughs> d four. If you get under this, I'll laugh at you. <laughs> Big funny. That's ten damage. As this thing running out away from whatever it was in there that's doing whatever it is, pops, <laughs> leaving behind once again. 500 money $5. each. If you guys want to add 500 money to your things, as well as a tiny $5. little green box. Which I'm just hmm. going to go ahead and say, Hibiki is the same damn thing. <laughs> the route, did you just try to get in front of me with your broken bones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I helped you. you so there's did. that. You did, and I thank you for that. But come on, Eve, you gotta think of yourself too. Oh, hey, another one of these things. <laughs> Bring back the swore. <laughs> these big ones are annoying. That's an understatement. They seem. Easy enough to take care of, now that we're able to catch them off guard. Looking at well, all of you, they, they seem just to seem to be running from hard. something real bad. Shall we head in well, and see? I think so, yes. A little late to think about turning back, isn't it? There's no special help around <laughs> inside. He's still gonna try and help you, even if you fight him, which you can't because your fucking arms are broken. <laughs> Don't worry! My cumulative HP is not technically 14 out of a theoretical 100! You guys, uh, okay. you guys go no, to step sir, in. Sound you made. As you guys go to step into the other battle map that you could have went to. <laughs> oh, hey, it looks so nice. Yeah, it's really good. Is this all Dungeon Alchemist shit, or is this something different? Oh, this is this is from uh two, 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 two. let me go on let me go on make sure I get his name right. <laughs> oh, it's going to get their name get their name right. I mean, I don't know who I don't know what what's going on with them. They could they could be whatever for all I know. That's Redbubble. That's not fucking Patreon. Get back on Patreon, you piece of shit. Da, 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 da. I, believe, I believe these are eight. I believe these are from Eightfold Paper. Mm. They have done uh quite a lot of uh of things that we uh, that we have used before. So I'm a huge fan of their siblings, one to sevenfold paper. <laughs> They're also the ones that do that did the uh that did this over here, the uh the art for the uh library. Oh, okay. That explains the Barbie. Mm -hmm. The Barbie. As you guys make your way into the large open uh area here, you step in looking forward toward what appears to be a just large open uh kind of maybe hall or grand hall of sorts looking beyond it uh you see that there is another room that is 
somewhat shrouded in some kind of a fog or something. Um, however, as soon as you guys walk through the precipice here, you see another just wave of that red energy go by. It seems to happen every like five or so minutes uh, at this point. As it just goes by for a second, everything turns red, and then everything goes back to being uh, the uh, okay. just just no color uh, extra added onto anything. Do we keep getting shield ups? You do, but it only okay. goes up to your max. I, no, no, but that means Zarel should be getting those. Fuck it, man! I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we can that's say the, you guys go like... back. We can say whoever doesn't have max can go to max with our shield. A hole's a goal, all right? I'll take that. Oh my God. <laughs> Every goal's a hole, or whatever. As you guys mm. look forward, uh, you do note that um, uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these uh, pillars seem to have collapsed. Uh, looking at them, you note that there appears to be um, some difference with some of them. Some of them seem to have uh, some markings on them. Uh, it looks as if one of those fat body guys, one of those large bodies, might have been perched on top of one of these pillars. Oh, those little fucking But bastards. whenever he ran away, he jumped off of it, you see. <laughs> I see. What a bastard. I hate I hate that they're jump bears. <laughs> <laughs> they're jump bears. Which uh, means there might have been before. another one in here before. It might still be alive or it might have been defeated by whatever that was. Who knows? Just looks up into the roof. There is no roof. Mm. No. As I mentioned to you guys before, as you guys walked uh, toward this place, it looks right. like the roof was completely blown away from this place. Mm. You, if I remember right, you said this used to be a place that dragons made. Mm -hmm. This was uh, apparently a large castle for one of the previous uh, uh, dragons of this land. Not uh, the third dragon, which you know to be um, uh, the one that is currently in charge, but either the first or yeah. second dragon. This was their castle. This is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> he just, the government just says that, says that to himself and just nods as if <laughs> like, yes, this is now a fact. It's now reality. Congratulations, <laughs> I guess. What's it called? Dragon. <laughs> No, well, this is called a castle. So, hmm. but now that's enough. Oh, he's but not one of those grand names kind of dragons, I see. Oh, that's a waste. Mm -hmm. What did that creature back at the refinery call you? Said something about force? Hmm. Why not something yes. like force home or something? Hmm. I never was. I never was a good namer of things. My brothers took care of all that. Well, you may not have your brothers, but you have the rest of them here. If they can come up with a better name for apparently your new place that is currently occupied by a very strong creature, then. <laughs> Me, my, my home before also was the same way. <laughs> it learned its place. <laughs> Well, let's let's see them, and then we can start cooking up names for your new place. Just imagining mm. you walking up, you going up to a fucking cave, and there's just like a single fucking bat inside, and you're like, "It's mine now, motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> just tight, like little baby force, like it's mine now, and the bat just <laughs> stares at it. Now your fucking place, trash. <laughs> it's just like a freshly hatched little dragon. Like, this is mine now. No, your place trash. <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of those like really cute bats, you know? They're basically like, winged puppies. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny, Fomo. I love how I just. I, love, I will never. I, to, I will never give context to that creature ever again. That is, as far as this is aware, that's the actual canon now. <laughs> Yay! No, Gilgamesh will never give context. You guys don't see anything Great. uh that is up on the pillars or up anywhere but nothing seems like it's going to jump down and kill you <laughs> i guess we go forward let's get hustling <laughs> nothing that seems like it's going to jump down and kill you <laughs> and then the column picks itself up off the ground That'd be another so one funny. of those fuckers jumps down on me i'm pointing the dagger up you guys I will rip in our new anus you guys start to make your way through uh, at this point, 
you find yourselves looking out at the opposite side. Um, potentially there may be something here or potentially there was something here. Who's to say? We can always come back and look around if possible or if need be. You guys look beyond this area to what appears to be the final place in this whatever is left of this castle. As you see, the only thing that still looks to be somewhat intact. Oh, wow. <laughs> this isn't a dungeon. This is safe for on, dude. But there is a dragon. Here. Yeah, there's, there's nothing left of this. Don't worry. It's not a dungeon at all. I would never put you guys in a dungeon. You never do that. You know, it's not like we were told that she was specifically held in dungeons or anything. What are you talking about, you piece of shit? <laughs> so fuck, you're talking about, you dumb idiot. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, you trash? <laughs> you trash? This is my place, trash. Get out <laughs> Something like that. My God. Something like that. As you guys walk out into what appears to be a large, just throne or or statue or both of a humongous winged dragon. To your eyes, a humongous winged dragon. You would look beyond this Gilgamesh and be like, "That can't be the scale." <laughs> <laughs> that cannot be to scale. Can't that's like the scale. Sc that's like the size of a young dragon if it's to scale. Mm. <laughs> I don't recall there being tales of child kings. <laughs> but uh, mm. to, the, to to a lot of you, it is it is a rather large fucking dragon. Um, but uh, it appears to be situated on mm. some kind of a maybe a cliff. Mm. Looking down beyond where the cliff is, you can see that there is the somewhat flooded uh, area that is the woods beyond it. Uh, the fl uh, the flooded woods that are all around seems to continue forward for a little while until from up here, at least, you can see a large amount of water, a large lake of such that is beyond this area that seems to lead at least a little bit off towards some mountains and around what you guys know to be the large petrified tree. Mm -hmm. Right uh, here, you can't see it wonderfully, but you can see it very well, almost as if this throne area was made to look at the great pet, the great tree. Mm -hmm. Is there, or would there have been more to this <clears throat> place than just this, I guess this straight line? The area was large. Uh, there were areas off to the north and south. There were areas off to the sides. You guys basically walked through the front door, through the main hall to the throne. There's okay. probably more that at least should have been. But as you look beyond at this cliff-like area, you remember being told, at least they do, you don't really remember unless you were there, uh, that right. the area has been sinking. Mm -hmm. because of the uh, because of the uh ice that has been around here the cracking and um, uh the cracking ice that seems to have lowered the area which is why this area is flooded in general weird i mean time man time mm -hmm. man it's weird how this area is, is is so is still so high though i mean it's a, Whatever, I'm sure it's like it's on a foundation of some sort. I don't know what you're talking about. You... <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we were literally <laughs> told this by word of mouth. Yeah. Nah, we did. We didn't learn anything. Just looking around at all this, Yo, Mesh just says, It will take time to dredge up the rest of it from the swamp, but it is doable. <laughs> We're gonna pull the fucking castle out of the swamp. <laughs> Yogamash believes wholeheartedly he can do it. I mean, Yo give it time, we're yeah. Drain the swamp. Uh, complete, complete confidence. Not a shred of doubt. I think Gilgamesh could fix global warming. <laughs> <laughs> give me toss. <laughs> Whatever that is. Shall we go mm. examine the, the throne? Mm. <laughs> What? Mm. Slowly. 
He's keeping eyes open on any heartless ambush. <laughs> Looking at the sky and the pillar, he's like, all right, which one's the next one, motherfucker? We, we just see a fucking U, a UAV coming down, dropping a big body. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just so focused at the sky that we don't notice the heartless coming up from below with the shadows. As you guys would slowly make your way toward the throne, walking up the stairs, getting yourselves an even better look, looking around the area, you can tell that this might have been the only place in the castle that didn't originally have a roof. <laughs> hmm. As you look around hmm. to it, it looks as if this area, while it did have foundations and it did have uh, walls surrounding it, it looks as if somebody would have either landed here or took off from here or something. But again, it looks as if it was always meant to look over toward where the great tree is. Hmm. Looking around it, it looks like the floor of it might have gone further around, but it's long since collapsed. Maybe there was an actual looking area beyond where the uh, where the uh, the throne is, so that the person sitting upon the throne was uh, seemingly uh, draped in front of the great tree. But you do see right where the wall-like area that seems to have some decorative pieces missing from it, and where the wings meet. Beyond that, perfectly silhouettes the uh the large trunk of the great tree mm -hmm. as if this person and the tree would have been one which from what you guys know they call these people the great cultivators the uh, things of that nature this tree has always been a symbol of cherish mm -hmm. to think that they would let this go to waste mm -hmm. as you guys step onto the main area nothing seems to jump out at you or anything He just looks yeah, up and around. Hmm. Reminds me of my brother's throne. And he also didn't like having a roof. Shall we examine the statue up there? Well, yeah. it's worth trying. If nothing else, get, 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 plops around the seat. because. Uh, uh, are you sure you want to climb I up can the do it. I can do it. As you're Zarell, moving up, you don't need to do it. Zarell, as you're moving up, roll me for your experience, please. Okay. Mm. Oh, I thought you were going to roll for bones. Roll me for your bones, uh... please. No. <laughs> roll, me for, roll, 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 roll your shadow ankles, Roll beast. bones, please. <laughs> roll bro. I'll put two of these. Fuck uh, yeah. Big number. A number. Huge number. I can give you an 18, 19. 18, 20, 21, yeah. looks like. Wait, no, that's Is experience. It? Never mind. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, a dummy. Yeah. I'm a big dumbass. I'm a dumb, I'm a dumbo. I'm a dumb, dumb, dumb dumbman. <laughs> so I mean, if you want to roll a fucking hero, I can tell you if I got a 20. So, well, you find that whenever you make your way up here, looking over toward where the seat is. This feels very familiar. Coming to this place, I mean. You remember a sense of adventure, of a great wanting, or even a great yearning. You were having fun. As you would look beyond where the dragon's wings would be over toward the great petrified tree. Something that is so unbelievably far away, but still looks so close. You find comfort from it, as if you're remembering a good day, a very good day. As you remember this day, you get a feeling of almost pride coming from it as if it was not only a good memory but a very joyous and 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 miraculous occasion that you were doing and it was something that you did upon remembering this despite not knowing the context of it i'm going to give you one experience I'm learning. As, I'm learning. As that familiar feeling and that sort of very 
small flash goes away from your eyes, you shake it off, and you're still surrounded by everybody else. Hmm. I'm starting to like this place. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like I've been here before. Which I guess makes sense, considering, you know, the entire reincarnation cycle of life and mostly life for the Cherish. <laughs> so, a shrine of a Cherish, you suppose? Well, I mean, I suppose if you want to believe that kind of myth, but it is about dragons first. Well, who's to say that there can't be a dragon uh, Cherish? You know that that, sure. is, that is supposed to be how things are. <laughs> the big thing that the big thing that apparently Michelle found out about the current uh the current uh, lord of this place lord Akron is the fact that he is a lying for fun yeah but supposedly that means that the first and second dragons the two leaders before them were dragon cherish mm -hmm. <laughs> either way you guys make it up toward the throne it's rather big it's not like big, big, but it's just rather big. You look it's not to big, it. Big. <laughs> you look to it. It almost seems pristine. Mm. As you look at it, there is very slight wear and tear. Not the thing you would notice from something that has been open and out to the elements. It almost looks as if it is like an antique of sorts. As you check it out, however. Gilgamesh and Muna, you guys in particular would feel that there is magic coming from this seat. Better do it. My brothers would often give gifts that have these kinds of enchantments since I lived in a cave. <laughs> what sort of enchantment? I don't know, it looks like a nice seat. Preservation. Hmm. It's been exposed out here. Rain, snow, wind, the sun. And it's almost perfect looking. It's probably, if that's the case, it probably looks just like it did whenever it was given the enchantment. Whatever aging that it had on it at the time is what you see now. Odd for someone who wants to be a ruler, but still, intriguing. Maybe they like the rustic look. I find it to be an agreeable form of aesthetic. Though I would never find a reason to have it. Anyway, it's mine now because it's here. Perhaps <laughs> and it was I have more it. of a personal <laughs> gift. And it had a lot more uh, emotional value to it than anything. And that's why it's preserved like this. I do believe that... This kind of furniture does suit a dragon more than it suits a human. I will say that. Hibiki uh. and Gilgamesh. Yee. You two are the closest uh, at the moment. I would like both of you to roll me for your insight, please. Okay. More insight. Uh, nope, that's a natural one. Don't worry about oh, it. You're you busy looking one? at a chair. Uh, mm, you know what? How about how about I get a couple more of those? Uh, I mean, you've already a, a rolled. Couple... I, yeah. I did not roll. I oh, you didn't the, roll. The oh, okay. I was going to say, yeah. if, you, if you already rolled, it's like you can't just... No, I did not roll. Guidance not roll. that away. I would like guidance. Do, 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 do. Here you go. Thank really you. Should. Didn't you say you were going to use one of these and then you never did? I can't believe you. Well, I still have it right here. I can use it whenever. <laughs> I just look at my fucking yeah, seven. I'm like, I should, I should use all seven right now. <laughs> One. It, it says fifteen. Second roll. Oh. And That's third up. roll. Let's go. Yay. So sixteen all together. Hibiki, as they're talking. You hear the sound of running water off to your side. Looking over the cliff, you do see the somewhat sunken forested woods uh, that are around. However, you hear similar to something like water fall, like almost like a, a stream of water hitting stone. But you don't see anything like that off to that off to that side. 
Hmm. Is it coming from more below or is it coming from a different part of the uh Oh definitely like below. Uh you're on a cliff. So mm. <laughs> definitely below. Hmm. I can hear running water down there somewhere. Running water. Hmm. But I'm not really seeing any. I suppose it'll be hard from this height. Muna looks down. Do I see that big hole there? Muna, as you look over toward... Oh, yeah, I grab Poe. You look over toward the direction that Hibiki is looking. You do find that in order to actually oh. see off the cliff, you'll have to get off uh, this incline you guys are on. You guys are technically higher than think, the cliff right now from the, because of the uh, steps and stairs. I think that's a tap, like tattered tapestry, by the way, Bill. Not a hole. Yeah. Oh, I see now. Yeah, I had to <laughs> zoom in. Hibiki, you make your way down. You walk over. You find that the area that you're standing on, it hasn't given away yet, so it's probably sturdy. Um, I can give myself flight. It's fine. You look over the side. As you do, you find on that side of the cliff, you see brick going down. There is some dirt and some looking like it, it might be natural, and vines, of course, would have reached their way up, but on the other side of this, you see brick, as if the long foundation of this place seems to go all the way down toward where the uh, toward where the the bottom of this area is. But not only that, you see a window down there. It definitely isn't where the water is going in because it's much higher than where the water is going in currently. But it does seem to lead into some kind of underground area. Huh. If only you could get to it somehow. Yeah, it seems like there's a underground part of this place. I can see a window down there. Oh, really? Hmm. That must be what we're looking for, then. I doubt that we try to reach that window. I'm sure there must be some kind of, like, I don't know, maybe like a secret passage up here or something. At the mention of a secret passage, Gilgamesh just starts looking around the chair. It's a very nice chair. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, this comfy. I, I don't. <laughs> oh, you're all you're gr- sitting on it. Yeah, it's it's chill. They're all, it's a very nice chair, very comfy chair. Yeah. Roll me for your experience again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> it's comfy. It's very comfy chairs, <laughs> You know what? If the pussy won't do it, I will. Have a faker for me. Oh! I'm not a pussy! Oh. I was looking for a decent oh. time to do it. Bring it over here. Here you go, buddy. If you're gonna call me a pussy, fuck it. I'll bring my nose <laughs> Fuck it. Oh. This room oh, is so easily fleetings. manipulated. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll hope to use the fleetings. If not, then we'll give them to people. Uh, go ahead and shuffle and roll. First, we'll go with Zarel. Okay, pog. All right, fucking here go. Fuck? One at a time. <laughs> uh, hole. The expanse. Hole. If we go over here, we should see the neutral for the expanse is an item stat good effect from a karma card is lost. An equivalent thing is found soon after. The bad effect is the enemies gain a boon for the next four the next four fights. I forgot to give the enemies a boon last the last fight. It's fine. I don't they think they needed it. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the fuck do you mean? Fuck you mean? Would you like to roll a... to get the good effect, or would you just like to keep the neutral effect? I'm gonna plus eight. Let's go. Go, go, go. <laughs> if we end up stuck with another four, another turns of ball pot, that'll just be our life forever. That's fine. Whatever. 16. That is over the thing. Two, 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 two. Because this is one of those where you had to get 12 or under to get the bad effect. Because bad things happen to good people. <laughs> I've learned the whole lot. Why die young? Do, 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 do. Make Let cars me mostly. Scroll down to the place. We need to go. Come on, Google Drive, please. <laughs> Google Drive I'm only song, using bro. you because I lost all my stuff last time and I don't want to ever lose them again. Okay. I know Going that, babe. <laughs> you guys are going to love this one. 
no no yeah. I'll just I'll just add it to the card real quick. Cause this is one of the better good effects because it affects the entire party. Oh. We all lose a card. All players gain one stat point and another boon as if they had leveled. Oh what? <laughs> Great news, everyone! I got Asian dragon knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We'll, t we'll we'll get to that uh, in a bit. Basically, we're just gonna have you guys uh, pick up uh, uh, pick up your black squares and get yourselves um, uh, some stat points. It's gonna be good. Very nice. Very yeah, good. Cool. I'll give each of you one stat. You guys can think about where to put that in a bit, and we'll talk about the we'll talk about the yeah. uh, the uh, other thing in a bit. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Each of you now have one stat point below your card, except for Hibaki, because I hate Hibaki. No, there it is. <laughs> Immediately in, in sight. Again, tell me later so I can mess with your stuff accordingly. Uh, yeah. But Nobody. we will then go to Hibiki. That's a very tenuous <laughs> tower. Oh, oh no. Aww. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we know the neutral and bad effect. So that's fun. We... Just roll good. <laughs> it's fine. Go ahead and roll me. Odds or evens? Uh, I'm going to go with evens. Okay. Stevens. Maybe we'll, get, that maybe show? we'll get to see the good effect. We do! And we do! It's not loss, it's gay. <laughs> well, loss goes both ways. The enemy <laughs> loses a copper card, all right? It's loss. You gain an item, insight, statistic, or ability that you believe you had lost. For you, <laughs> uh, I wonder what that is. I wonder. For you, that's very easy for me. <laughs> to Your demeanor. For you. Do -do -do -do. I'm Bobby. going to say for this one, uh, because the last thing you lost uh, was two of your strength, I'm going to give you back two of your strength. Yay! <laughs> Oh the no! Maybe saying your pitching arm one second at a time. Uh, he, he still he still has negative three. That's still is not very good for his pitching arm. We're moving uh, up. We're moving up. We're moving up. <laughs> yes. But uh, you do feel that maybe this maybe this forest air is doing something for you. You feel pretty good. Oh my god! Forest <laughs> gas. Hello. This forest air is doing great for you. Anyway. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and go Gilgamesh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very nice stack. Go, Gilgi. Deception. Go, go, go. Disgrace. Dis we know the good it's effect and the neutral effect. I need you to roll me. Hold on. Let me make sure this isn't one of the ones that I have to have a different thing for. Go down. Do the deception. Where are you at? There you are. Do, 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 do. This is. So you need to roll and get over a 12, please. If you want the good effect. Mm. If you don't in a row, you don't have to roll either. You can just take the neutral effect. Fuck it, we ball. Okay. If he fucking stabs me in the throat, it's fine. Well, no, nope, no good effect there. Do, 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 do. That's a six out of roll. Hmm. So I keep this card. Okay. And I choose a certain thing. I'm going to put in the deception because I'm supposed to be deceiving you still because it's how the deception works. I'm going to put yeah, at the so bottom of it the first line of the dialogue, which is DM keeps this card and chooses A. <laughs> cool. I will keep this. Thank you very much for 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 your for your for your aid. Uh, I love it. I hope I hope that you love it as well. Remember Yay! that whenever you are uh, whenever you are uh, doing good with a card, remember that uh, it is always good to. I can't change it to red, and I'm very sad about that. I wanted to make it a Gilgamesh version, <laughs> but it won't let me. Enough time and effort. Just gonna I'm just gonna just gonna lock it down. 
and then I'm gonna draw a little a little red dot on it so I know it's for Gilgamesh. Little, hold on. You can do, do it. Do. <laughs> do. <laughs> He's your flower. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but yes uh, <laughs> it's kind of the check mark it's very we will, we will we will we will see we will see what happens with that i i get to choose a thing and that might be fun for me <laughs> yeah <laughs> might not be I fun for you i not, hope it's soul crushing because yeah. that's fun it might not be fun for you uh however it is it is going to be fun for me and remember whenever you survive bad effects good things happen so that might be fun <laughs> So, all right, I Muna. Got peer pressured. Last one. <laughs> Go. Look how much Last one. Go, baby. You. New one. Peer pressure. Oh, oh Christ. Oh no. <laughs> this sounds. This sounds like a holy. Hey, why is the DM going? Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so hold on. Well, uh, wait uh, a second. Uh, yeah. Are we rolling? Is this a deco? Let me tell right, you the neutral right. effect put first. Put down the penis, Valen. Stop. Put, let me, the, put, the, put the fucking gun down. Let me down. tell you the neutral Sorry. effect first. Okay. The We've player, never seen this. The player who drew this card and one person they choose gains two reroll tokens. Okay. That is the neutral effect of this card. Do okay, you want, you're dying again. Do you want to mm -hmm. roll... Yes. For the good effect or the bad effect. Well, hopefully yes. the good effect, but I'll take bad too, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, who do you pick? I need you to get mm -hmm. over a 12, please. I was really hoping you were going to 18. Yeah, it's not a 12. <laughs> oh. That's a 2. <laughs> Why are you laughing more. like that? Awesome. It's like you wanted this or something. We got a wide variety of doom upon us. Mm. <laughs> it's quite nice, isn't it? Well, so it I'm was gonna, a nice play, Gizmuda. I'm going to send you a message, Lily. Okay. Ooh, and it is going to be the full effect of this card. And you can take that as you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Zion. Also, who did you pick for uh, the? Oh, the, the, no, the no neutral effect happens. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I will. Is there a one? I gain no. Why is she exploding? I will <laughs> want you uh, to. Uh, I will. I will want to talk to you <laughs> because of the first line in in that. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. It's a secret tool for you to use later. Well, don't worry. She's got this. <laughs> We're gonna fucking die. I've... Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> this one's one of my favorites. <laughs> that makes me sad. <laughs> I was able to peer pressure you all into this. You know, I think our bonds have gotten closer. <laughs> we, we got we got one percent on our friendship meter, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it's really fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back Gotta to what we were see. doing. Um, yeah. so... The chair's comfy. What's going on? <laughs> the chair's very comfy. <laughs> yes. At this point, Hibiki has found a window. If you guys would like to try to get in it, mm -hmm. you would have to climb or have something aid you in getting down to it or find another way inside. And now that you know that there is an inside. Are these little window slits actually here? On these walls? Those little window slits? Yeah. They're very tiny. Mm. And it looks like it oh. only seems to go underneath where the stairs are. But there is a very large hole where the stairs would be over here. <laughs> As they're looking over the fucking cliff, he just looks in here. You look mm -hmm. down into where the, uh, the slits are. You find that looking beyond it, as I mentioned earlier, 
You see that it seems to go a little bit hollow and look off toward the back of this area. You see a very similar area toward where the cliff is. However, you see a bunch of very rotted wood and very like weathered air, uh, things down there. You see that it leads to what appears to be like maybe a deck or an eating area or like a party area that seemed to have uh, faced the cliff and the great tree. It doesn't mm. look like it goes down. It just appears to be a little, 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 little party deck, little party area for the deck. Little, 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 mm. little, little entertainment nook. <laughs> the entertainment nook. Found something. Oh, what'd you find? Rotted wood. Mm -hmm. Rotted wood. <laughs> he jumps down. You just see him jump down. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Gilgamesh goes down and goes inside uh, of this area. He is underneath you currently, Zarel. Uh, and again, Gilgamesh, you look about. Uh, you find huh. that it seems to lead off into a large area where you could just kind of walk around down here. Uh, fully get back on Gilgamesh. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> um, and again, it looks as if it is just like a little, a little eatery, mm -hmm. a little, e a little, a little nook where you could uh, check out the area beyond and look down from the from the um, uh from the the cliffside you get a better uh look at the area down below and the um, uh the lo the window that uh hibiki was talking about hmm. i'm sorry hibiki you would have also saw it from whenever you went down over here i just forgot okay <laughs> gotcha he just goes the ghost goes over he looks up he just sees you just hibiki see hibiki over there <laughs> he waves good job dude wave <laughs> <laughs> There has to be another way to Well, all right. If we happen to own some sort of uh, castle of sorts, where would you put your dungeon? My brother used to put a switch on a tiny seat he could never fit in. He would move out of the way. It was a chance for his prisoners to escape, though it never actually led anywhere. Well, okay, that's your brother, but where would you put one? Hmm. Make your way toward the little tattered, uh, little tattered area there. He, he goes up, looks under, it, investigates. You and find put, as you lift the tapestry, uh, it looks as if the tapestry is worn with age. Whatever is on it is completely gone from it. The red is faded on it, but still somewhat all right. Um, as you lift mm -hmm. it up, you do see that it does seem to have another little, another little window slit, just like the areas around it looking off further into the area beyond. However, this one seems to have a much larger area, as if maybe it was used to hand food back and forth between that area. Hmm. You know, like, he just examines this and puts the, tra the tapestry back down and just thinks, the only other place He looks up, he just like steps back and looks up at the dragon statue. It's a very nice statue. This, the statue. Oh, what about it? It's a pretty huge dragon. Eh. Child. Oh, you do call me that often. <laughs> Not you, that. But yes. <laughs> That's you look back over toward where the dragon is. As you see it, once again, there is some wear and tear on it, but you do feel that there is a bit of magic coming from the statue as well. As you look it over, you try to see if you can mess about with it or look at it. It doesn't look like anything's under it or anything. He checks, like, around it, like, if, is the mouth open or closed? Uh, it is slightly open, I believe, if we look at it. Uh, he looks no, it in is, there. Is okay. Hmm. It's enchanted. It's. He thinks and just. He shrugs and just says in draconic open. Mm. Didn't think that would work. Besides flying down, I would not know where else to put a secret entryway. If you didn't think it would work, then why did you try it?
No one else. Heard, no. no one else hears that. Only Gilgamesh. Uh, he holds a finger up and just turns back towards the statue and starts talking again. <laughs> <Yeah. and> dragon. <laughs> Maybe there's some there's sort no. of. You know that whenever somewhere. you say that, uh, that it does seem to respond in draconic. Yeah. He starts saying, talking and dragging to the statue. He seems to hold up a finger. <laughs> well, if it's, you always fail if you don't try everything. And what was there to lose? Well, what are you looking for that you would try something so ridiculous as to talk to a statue? <laughs> If you think that's ridiculous, then you're clearly not aware of my world. In any case, we're looking for an entrance into the dungeon. An entrance into the dungeon? Hmm. You mean the area below, yes? You were only told it was a dungeon, so yes. That is that particularly may be the ill. There is no entrance to the dungeon. Hmm. Why would there be? Those who need to make their way to it would just make their way to it. What is a door to a magician? I was under the I was under the impression it's for the ease of mortals since dragon kind seems to have to abide them in some small way. Huh. Mortals do not have to see everything. Though, Indeed. the things below currently are being used by many mortals. Mm. More than what has originally been the purpose of, though, to be fair, I suppose the original purpose of the area below was to house many criminals. More than the great first dragon would ever have the need of. A place to take away those from this place that could disrupt or defile. I don't believe it was ever filled mm. completely, but it was used. Currently, it's being in use for just one prisoner. Mm. Though again, never... I have not spoken with them, the one that jailed them. Or the one that comes to visit them. I have only folk spoken with you. No one else is foolish enough to try to speak to me. No one else understands what it means to be dragon. <laughs> oh. I've seen many dragons, though not one as demeanor as you. <laughs> and it turns out we're not immune to all forms of curse. Though... Which oh, has... Do not count me among you, dragon, if that is what you are. I am but a statue. I am like the guardian of this place. I am the holder of the great first legacy. I am the keeper of their secrets. And I am the eyes that they would have in the back of their head. Nothing would get past me. Nothing would get further beyond. And as long as the first dragon was seated in front of me, nothing would go for his back. Then you have, at the very least, earned a modicum of respect then, Guardian. I am sorry that you are dealing with some kind of curse. But the area below is not for any of you. The area below is for the worst of the worst. There has not been a prisoner there in many years until recently. And even then, I believe it is overkill for such a creature. You bring people here whom cannot be killed. You bring people below who it is impossible to slay. This world has brought many of those that are hard to slay to its walls, and some of them are very problematic. They will last away down here as long as they would live, or if they are 
truly grievous. They will be sectioned, taken away from themselves. The blade below seeing to it, removing them and spreading them apart as far as they could be. That is the most heinous of the punishments that lie below. Far more than any I would see has ever bra graced these halls. I doubt it was ever even used. Maybe once or twice? Oh, <sighs> My age mm. is showing. And for whatever it's worth, you seem pristine. I'm a bit rusty along the wings, yes, but I am as fully in my cognitive sense. I rest when those aren't around, and I'm only brought forth by certain stimuli. People entering the great prison below, or those who want to speak with me directly. You have a designation, Guardian? The first had a name for me, but that was between us. You can call mm. me Guardian, or you can come up with another name yourself. We... We both know how dragons love to keep what it is they covet. The first was no different. He kept power, and he knew that power was in names. My previous name was always going to be a part of his horde, and I would never give it out to anyone else. And I would not steal from him, since he would not be here to defend it. <laughs> you are a dragon, aren't you? Silly creature. But very yeah. impressive. You talk you similar no to idea. him. I would like to have met him then. A few millennia too late. Well, the others cannot hear you, can they? Would you like them to? I am it just would speaking be... back to you in a tone that you have spoken to me. It would be beneficial. <clears throat> Hello, trespassers. Oh! <laughs> the three I'm of sorry, you hear you the three of you hear the voice coming from the statue. Finally, I'm sure it is very nice. Huh? Another talking statue. Interesting. Uh, uh, hello there. Hello. This is the guardian of this place, built created by the first dragon. I do not guard Guardian, yes, this I... place as much as I guard the ones who sit in this throne. Is but... that metaphorical, or...? Sorry, I'm just teasing. It as, is I quite mentioned, as I mentioned before, when my master sat upon this throne, he need not worry of anyone getting to his back. Oh, my see. That is quite handy. But yes, mm -hmm. as I mentioned to your dragon friend here, the area below does not have a door. It is not meant to. Those with the ability to go into it can go into it without needing such things. You will find many doors on the inside, but you will not find any door to the outside. There is only two ways inside of the area below. Sneaking your way in, or being allowed. Would you hold the key to that door then? Or must we sneak in? I used to. As you can see, the area around you is dilapidated, destroyed. The area that I would send you, I believe would have already long since collapsed and been destroyed. That being said, this place was once known as a great lighthouse, a beacon for those who would come to this place. 
I remember that in times of war or in times of turmoil, this place would have been attacked. But as soon as the light would return, it would rebuild almost instantaneously. Not as large as it once was, but it would use what was left from the area about it to recreate itself. If this place were to be lit once more, perhaps I could allow you into such a place that has been already destroyed. That was one of our other objectives. We've been reigniting lighthouses across this world. I see. You know of the great lighthouses, then? Yes. Hmm. And why is it you are lighting them? You've seen the creatures. The creatures? And the shadows. The hmm. beasts with the emblems on them. Emblems. Hmm. Heartless. But they're dark and shadowy. Ah, yeah. Sh heartless. No. Yes, I know of the heartless. Uh, is that how you came here? You came to this place of Great Haven? Great Haven. <laughs> that is why this world was born, you know. That is why this place was created, at least as far as the first dragon would have thought. It was created to defend the realm of light from the realm of darkness. A place where everything would go that was once lost. You're saying those creatures have finally come here, of all places. The first yes. dragon knew of Heartless? <laughs> the first dragon knew of this place. They were an ancient being known as a Cherish. They were one of the first leaders of this world, though not the first. There were beings before them, but they unfortunately had a weakness to them. The same weakness that every Cherish holds. This world was created by the ones who created the Cherish in order to stop beings from being brought down and destroyed into the darkness. If those beings are here, they mean to destroy this last haven. That is not good. I do not know of another world that is as welcoming as this one. Mm. Well, we we have been brought here to help stop the darkness by lighting the lighthouses, mm -hmm. among other things. It seems to be the most effective method of prevention that we have at The lighthouses the are laid upon points throughout the lands. These points are not ones that, no that normally stay open, though I guess in drastic situation it could be used to fight against the heartless. Opening up these points, these ley lines that these beacons lay upon, opens up not only protection and not only, well, power for those who go for it, but it also releases magic, you know. Magic upon the world. Magic that could be used for good, bad, greed, charity. Mm -hmm. The more lighthouses that are lit, the more this world is full of magic. That is exactly something that we would benefit from. Hmm. You do seem as if you are seemingly bringing all of the magic around you inside yourself. Hmm. Well, either way. If you do plan to make your way down, you will have to find your way on your own, unfortunately. There is a beacon of sorts down below, and if you do try to light it, good luck. I do sense that the actual source of the light is waning in some way. This red color is not nearly as vibrant as it once was, and it seems to be faded. Why is that? Hmm. I wish I still had full reign over this place. 
If I did, I would be able to do whatever it is I wished, but without my master, I am but a another denizen of this place. This beacon, it's underground? I believe it so. The light would not be here if it were not. Though if it is not actually lighting the lighthouse, what is it doing? So far it seems to have been killing Heartless, and I guess since we've already been empowered by other lighthouses, it's been replenishing our shields. Hmm. It does seem to be doing that. Hmm. It does not do that on its own. Replenishing your shields or giving you sustenance. It does not do that of its own accord. It just randomly. It does that for reason. Perhaps it is calling to you. Maybe it is good for you to light these lighthouses. Maybe the strain of the world of magic is not as bad as it once was. Perhaps it is something that you could actually get something from. Be careful with the lighthouses, but drastic times. I understand. If you need they a power so dressed. to destroy the darkness that comes to this world, I suppose destroying a tiny bit of it is worth it. If it still stands. What? what? This world, if all of the lighthouses are awoken, the magic inside, it is dangerous. If not properly channeled, it could destroy part of it. Earthquakes, tremors, different kinds of natural disaster. A great magical release. Yes. Once the magic is, once this world is full of even more magic than it has, all of the magic it has accumulated to bringing other creatures, items, and beings to it, added on to that world, it would be devastating. A world can only hold so much. But again, to fight against the great darkness, it might be needed. I had not thought that someone would try to turn them all on. We were not aware it would do that. Question. If somebody had used the power of the lighthouses to create a prison... Would they have needed to have light the lighthouses anyway to do so? Create a prison with the lighthouses. Yes. There is a there is a prison below, yes, but it is not made with the magic of the lighthouse. There well, is a brought into some. Yeah. They are made to charge or use certain things. I mentioned below there is a great blade. One that is separates, one that secures and removes. That That's is what so, this. Yeah. That is what this location is for. Lighting the great lighthouse here will cause that item to work. It will also release magic, more magic than any one person should be able to mess with. It would be destruction but sometimes destruction is needed lighting them all though is risky on this continent alone i can tell you there are maybe eight maybe one or two more give or take how many have we lit so far two was it was like one because the first one was just automatic. Did you really activate three so far? Hmm. Okay. Uh, now to imagine we've gone three already. Three. Or two or three we're or at, two or. I thought we we're at the third one right now. Right. <laughs> how many? Act what I'm asking is how many active lighthouses? There's library. Ooh. And yeah, the other mountain, too. 
Okay. Right. Thank you. I forgot. It feels You're like we've gone to so many places. Pocket serology service. Going back in. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, unfortunately, the, the person was not yeah. in fact a White House. That'd be really funny. Thank you, Sorel. Have another free balloon on free balloon day. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Two are... Well, we've managed to light two, and this will be our third then. That should be fine. Things should only start being strange once more than half of them are lit. Three is fine. Potentially, That's if you were to able know. to get through things, only lighting three, that would be good. Four, pushing it. Five. If you're going to do five, things are bad, aren't they? I don't well, know. while the great library is open, that was the first beacon. In All case right. I... Sorry, I don't know what that is. The library that, that was made at the beginning of this world? I don't know what that is. I How do you that... not know what that is, but you were... Perhaps... The library was not made at the beginning yeah. of this world. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't? Yeah. No. I thought no. that was a whole the thing. Light, the lighthouse that is the library was made at the beginning with all the other lighthouses, but it doesn't mean it's always been a library. <laughs> It was built oh. around the. Okay, it was built around <laughs> before. It was a pizza hut. <laughs> <laughs> all of them were originally just big spires, so they were all my lighthouses. Bad. I yeah. assume that when he's like, I don't know what a library. I don't, had I don't know what the legend. library is. Well, yeah, but the legend yeah. would have came far after this guy was made. <laughs> really? Yeah. This guy okay. was. A, this guy was a guy from the first dragon. <laughs> <laughs> You're before. just showing up. You just just be like, how do you not know? You get revered as a god three hundred years later. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, wow. I guess I misunderstood when things were made. Oh, sorry. I no forgive problem. you. I also have never left this place, so. Mm -hmm. I suppose it'll be hard to travel. Yeah. So. These wings are yep. rather uh, heavy. <laughs> mm. We should consider gravity magic to help me. In any case, the way to sneak in, there's a window down there. It'll have the sneaking in entrance. Hmm. There should not be much, but, uh, hmm. Tell me, how do things look behind me? I can't turn it's, around. It's the great, it's whatever's left of the great tree. It's difficult to see from here, it's foggy. It lines up very well with the, with the whole hmm. thing. I was wondering why you were talking about a why you were talking about a window. There should not be any windows. Everything is underground. Oh, uh, the area around has been sinking. Oh, that makes sense. Then yes, if you could get through the window, that might work. They're going to break one of the windows. <laughs> hmm. Well, from what I can see in front of me, a lot of things are already broken. I suppose one more window should be fine. Don't break much more. We'll try not to. We'll I can't do, do anything. I can't do anything about it. I can't stop you, but <laughs> well, I mean, we we'll just don't feel bad about it. Yes, we also can't bad. stop the <laughs> rampaging woman that's in the dungeon in case uh, she yes. decides to break anything. As I mentioned, there is one prisoner here. <laughs> you know why exactly they were shoved down there? They no. gave a reason, but... I do not know why there is a person there. They are here. They've been here for several years, I believe. Uh, but uh, occasionally some uh, someone comes to visit them, and occasionally someone comes to check on them. I believe that in the past three years, I've only seen three people make their way to this place. Those who try to come here from beyond are usually stopped by whatever this person down below controls or talks to. I believe that they have some kind of, uh, some kind of aid or some kind of people about them just beyond the borders. Either way, there is only the three that have been here. Apart from all of you, of course. 
Anyone else who has made their way to this place, unfortunately, I do not believe still live. Okay. By the way. Well, then, for now, it's all I can think of. We should probably get moving before she gets worse. That's, that's true. We should absolutely get moving. We're all gone. <laughs> well, we do have that rope you all bought. We do still have that rope. We were going to use it to make that uh, raft, but then we found one. The, the stroke of luck, though. Right? All right, I'll be over here. Hmm. Well, all right, let's tie it up and see if we can get a good spot to. Uh... Goodbye, great guardian. Oh yes, goodbye, <laughs> travelers. Have a, have a Sorry, thank oh, you very yes. much for oh, all of your information. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It, don't Hello, I'm not, not just worrying a little. Is there, is there why, more? why are we saying goodbye right now? We are still up here. We have yet to descend. <laughs> I'll keep this more then. <laughs> <laughs> we can't eat it. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, it's not it's about sending a message. <laughs> it's not sending a message. <laughs> Would you guys like to try to make your way down? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. As you down. guys get over to the side, again, it's not the most stable footing, but it is not falling, and you're pretty sure that it's, it has to be somewhat stable because, you know, everything's still there. Um, you throw the rope over to the side. You connect it with something up here, which, again, you're hoping is stable. Um... <laughs> As you do, you guys, one at a time, make your way down. Who goes first? That's what I need to know. I guess I'm holding the rope. Uh, um, EBK will go first, because in case he fucks up because of his arms, he can fly. Okay. Okay. EBK. You make your way down. I, me, Anthony, feels bad for making fun of Yubiki's negative strength, but Gilgamesh still has another backstory. Just say. You find when you get down what appears to be a large window that seems grated. However, the grates on the window seem very large. You're able to potentially just go right through. Gilgamesh might have a little trouble, but he could probably squeeze his way in as well. <laughs> you look hey, inside. There are, there's... You see there's a large drop after you get down from the um uh from the uh uh from the window. You don't have much mm -hmm. more rope, unfortunately. You will have to take the drop unless you have some oh, other no. way of getting down. Oh no, I have to take the drop and flow down with arrow. And die. And die. And die. Die, die, we all pass. I away. use magic flow arrow to to land safely down below. Man, I wonder how the other guys are going to get down. <laughs> well, shit, I guess we're just... I As guess he wants to solo the boss. You get down. We do. <laughs> All righty, we can go solo the boss. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch this asshole. Unless I can hook onto this and stay up here so that I can tap everyone coming through with it. <laughs> you, can stay on, you can stay on the window if you want. Yeah, I'll stay on the window to be able to, you know, give everyone the arrow flow that they need to survive the fall. As you make your way in, you look down inside. You see what appears to be far below you a large, maybe altar or something? As you see it, man, it has blood on it for some reason. I, that shouldn't have blood on it. <laughs> don't worry, there's no blood. Don't worry, don't worry, it's ketchup. Don't worry about it. It's just ketchup. It's ketchup. It's yeah, ketchup. That's not the right color. Look at me. You find Here, I'll, as I'll you do. It. The others start to make their way down. Gilgamesh, I mentioned that they had hooked it onto something, so you can probably climb down without having to hold on, hold onto the rope. Okay, sick. As you guys would come down. Do you want to use four magic to get you and your friends down? 
Hmm. <laughs> How far is that drop? Decently far. Mm. Uh, I. Mm. That is a lot of magic. <laughs> if you won't do it, I will. Oops. You guys, can, you guys can separate it up. You guys can. Uh, <coughs> I mean, technically, Zarel only has to use one magic for three people because of because of the flow. Yeah. Because they conjure three right. balloons with the flow. You can use you can use your balloon, and I can fly down. And we're all fine. Balloon. Both of you give isn't both of you give up one magic. Isn't that literally a Mario Party mini game? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Hibiki is like like cool guy floating down with arrow. The other three have a little balloon Pikachu style. It's a... You guys <laughs> land down. As you do, you guys look around at the area about. It seems like you're in a very dilapidated uh, area of this. There is a, nobody's nobody's around to like clean it. You People hear notice the door. You hear yeah. Going over toward the door. Don't worry about that. You hear going over toward the door with the sound of the sound of running water, seemingly echoing around. You hearing you now that you see it. That's probably where you had heard the water uh, the water flowing before. Mm. It seems to be echoing there, all the way through this place. Are there actual? Are these supposed to be writings on the walls? Or are they just squares? The squares. Are they decorative. Little okay. Squares. Little squares. Yeah, don't worry about the fall of all doing. Just keep going. Okay. Um, you guys make your way weird. toward the center uh, of the room. Yeah. Looking onto the definitely not blood on the on the altar. Um, hey, see it's right there. <laughs> no blood, it clean. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's right there. Smile. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> you find that. Upon take upon coming here, that is it is a relatively uh not comfy feeling, but it does have a, a feeling of somewhat safety around around you at the moment. Some kind of magical safety feel coming from the altar. Some kind of comfy feel. Very nice. Very good. Very comfy. <laughs> Comfy. You, could, you could probably sleep on the death altar. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> I would. I don't want to sleep on the death altar. I mean, there's, no, if there's nothing that says it's a death altar, it's an altar. It could be half definite, but we don't know no. that. So Del, don't go into the death altar. You're still alive. You still have 4 HP. <laughs> you find as you approach it, Gilgamesh, there appears to be a bit of a give no to the top of it. Clean. As you put your hand atop of it, it almost feels to the the stone seems to somewhat give, not a lot, like a like any sort of leverage or anything like that, but it does seem to somewhat somewhat move as you touch it down at the very uh, like seemingly going down slightly. Nothing happens as that goes, but as you hold your hand there for a moment, you find that it starts to get somewhat warm underneath your hand. As it gets warm, you hear on the opposite side of the hall the sound of the door slightly going ajar as if it got unlocked. Uh, he just it does not swing all off. the way open. It just seems to go, uh, slightly mm -hmm. go ajar. He puts his other hand on and just kind of pushes down more. It doesn't keep doesn't give any more than that, or it is not seemingly opening. It is just seemingly unlocking. Hmm. Well, let's go Don't... investigate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you let go, Gilgamesh? Mm -hmm. He lets go. The door locks. You hear a clanking sound off to the end, and it seems to echo throughout the area. Mm -hmm. We should just weigh it down with something then, right? I suppose I so. Do you have any of those? Just put your hammer or your metals or whatever. He drops the stone hammer on the altar. He, he will. Oh. Putting the stone oh, hammer so on the altar. Down. You wait for it to open, to unlock. It does not. 
here, I think I got something. Mm -hmm. he, he will put one of the little ingots he's gotten from the, 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 the heartless on it. You put the little ingot on there. As you pick up the, uh, the, the hammer, you put the ingot on there. It stays there for a bit, and you do not hear it unlock. He will put the second one on it. Does not seem to unlock. Hmm. Gilgamesh thinks for a second and just sits on it. Gilgamesh, as you sit on it, you feel that there is a slight warmth coming from your bum. As it does, hmm. the door seems to unlock on the other side. Uh, what do you make of it? There, hmm, it seems this may only react to living beings. Watch, we have to leave something behind? Someone? Perhaps. He actually jumps back off of it and then pulls out the three remaining bones he pulled from the prison that he just kept. You put the bones on there. As you do, you watch in anticipation. Nothing happens. It might have to be a living creature. He just puts the bones back in his back. Does it matter the size or...? Let's mm. find out. Lee goes out from the beard and then lays down on it. You guys hear it unlocking on the other side. Hmm. <laughs> There's your answer. So I don't like that we would need to leave somebody behind to open this door. I would say it should be me or Ramu. Hmm. I can fly out of here, so it's not like I'm stuck here, and Ramu can probably scale the wall and get back to the rope. That's quite agile. Hmm. Hmm. It's the only way to truly progress forward now. So we don't have to too much time to be figuring it out too much. Mm. Yes. Well, we'll keep it simple. Who do you like more? <laughs> that does not make this a simple. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you would put it like that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're both creatures, not. Okay, I see how it is. Not what? <laughs> uh, conscientious of other people's feelings? Uh -oh. If you don't want us to be lonely, just leave us both here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Climbs up, <laughs> <laughs> looks back at you guys like, who are you choosing? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Is Ramu, uh, uh, has Ramu gotten back up to full from having already used all her stuff? Ramu has not slept. Ramu has not slept. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of them have had a chance to sleep. I mean, this seems like a good place for us to rest and think about it in the morning. We are on that a timer. That is not right. <laughs> that, that, that is not a, correct. That is a yeah. We'll... I mean, oh. look at the death of decay. It looks relaxing. We'll catch it to later. I just rest up while yeah. we're moving. Mm -hmm. Let's Can go. Can leave both of them there? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't think this more. I actually need that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, gonna it, you're gonna bring it with you. All right, mm -hmm. you two go. You all go through the door, and then whenever you are through, we'll either try to follow you, or we'll make our way up back up to the statue or whatever. Maybe we'll make our way, maybe we'll make our way back over toward that campsite. Eat some more of those s'mores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're very good. Be safe, you two. We will be back. Can't believe it. They left us both here. Guilt does not work on me. They hate us both, Rama. <laughs> we have to start eating each other for sustenance. <laughs> 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 they, Ramu shows their teeth, which are bigger than the body of Philly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene from Jaws. <laughs> there is no hatred. 
to have two deities capable of destruction having each other's back means you two are immortal. It's okay, I played Hades too. Sometimes you'll piss one off and they'll hate you for like five minutes. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you guys are still here. <laughs> Everyone just been leaving. As you guys make your way toward mm. the large Cthulhu door. The Cthulhu door. Don't worry Maybe about more. that. Honestly, I, I did that, That's what that is. That's I'm gonna. Cthulhu. I'm gonna be honest uh. with you. I didn't know it was Cthulhu. I just kind of. I just kind of looked at it for a minute. And I'm just like, oh, it's a nice little design. And then I, we, I literally only zoomed in on it right now. And then, and then it's got like the snout. Yeah, it's like just like a, a little. It's just like a little squid door. Yeah. It, 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 it has it looks, a Squidward face. It's a happy squid door. Yeah, squid door. It's a happy it's, squid door. It's, uh, yeah. it's a do It's the demon door from Fable. <laughs> <laughs> can I break? Can I break the door down? As you guys pull the door, it has. A lot of weight to it. Gilgamesh and Zarel, you guys seem to strain to get this door open. It seems to be made of solid steel. As you pull it apart and you guys look back, you step forward onto what appears to be, I'll get this, and this will be the final thing we see for the night, what appears to be a long staircase going down. And to each side, seemingly flooded water everywhere. Mm. Yeah. It's... Yeah. As you guys would step in, looking down this long dilapidated staircase seeing the waters below it you guys would look back you'd see Fali and ramu getting off as if they're about to start rushing after you or coming towards you literally as soon as their butts leave it the doors unbelievably quickly slam <laughs> behind you bah. <laughs> as you look back forward you hear a growling sound coming from deeper within and I think this is where we'll end things off for the night we did it Hooray! this would be a fucking time we need to learn cure after this <laughs> Holy Unfortunately, shit. the pen could not be small enough to make a slinky for the bottom of the stairs. Everyone loves the slinky, 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 go, slinky, go, slinky, go. go, slinky, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, a good, what a good movie. So this is where all the water's going. That's pretty cool. And no love no, water. Not. Wow, look at all the water. We got, can't to, believe we, the we got to the water temple, guys. Finally. Uh, Finally. <laughs> the first dragon was a water dragon. What an asshole. <laughs> but yes. This feels more like the water temple from A Link to the Past, the one where you have to, like, do the two levers and, like, all uh, that kind of stuff. You get the hookshot yeah. in it. Yeah. 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 I love uh, these maps. These temples. maps are so fucking cool. They are. <laughs> I can't believe we have to fight an Abolith before we fight the final boss. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fun. You guys gonna have have fun times with 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 friends. Yay! Welcome to my domain. <laughs> I love that everyone around here has been calling this place a prison. Yet whenever you talk to fucking the person, uh, they, they were just like, "Oh yeah, no, this is just where I stay." <laughs> no, this is what it's like. It's chill. It's just mm. a chill place. Uh, I like the name Grey Haven. I think that's the name. So who the fuck did she send? If, if, if like, most people who were supposed to come here haven't left, who did she try to send? If you remember hearing what the statue was saying, they apparently had things that were outside of the, uh, outside of this place that listened to them. Mm -hmm. But you guys didn't have to have to deal with them because they sent them out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They sent them away, which is why the Heartless came in, because there was no one around to stop them They're from like, coming Ooh, in. Ah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, I guess they must have been strong enough to kill Heartless. But so. the good news is... It's time to deter to the to... them. It's finally time to make more water balloons. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are we going to end off with the points and the removal of the squars? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you yeah. guys got your one your one points. Where are you putting yours at, Gilgamesh? Uh, I forget if if it's willpower or resilience, it's like gives me more willpower, AC, resilience, right? or experience. Whichever uh, was I, the, the biggest one for you, basically. I think more, well, that goes for AC. Yeah, and the the rest uh, of it is for if you put it in any of them, you get uh, drive. Yeah, I'm looking for the AC, so because I need to get that higher, man. If you want I'm more AC, pants. then you would have to put one into your willpower to get one more AC. Yeah, that tracks for Gilgamesh. Okay. You will go to 13 AC. Yep, four willpower. That's pretty good. And you would have 75 drive. Yeah. Oh, that, that's 750. Let's not do that. <laughs> Wait, no, keep it. Keep it, please. Remember to go back down to 41 HP. Do you want to yeah. have that drive be in your shield or your HP? Um, all right, I'll do that math later. Um, I think actually putting a little more into shield wouldn't hurt. Okay. Go ahead and bring yourself back down to forty-one HP then. I can do basic math. Maybe uh, Zarel, what are, where are you putting yours at? You put Take an insight? one less inside point, baby. Hey. Yeah. Let's go. You. You're only We're negative making two. Our way up the ranks. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I'll let you. Maybe I'll up. let you do more insight sometimes now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! You get, you get to do one more insight check every three weeks. Muna, where are you wanting to put Yay! yours? Uh, can we go above seven yet? Nope. Insight. Uh, All right. Insight. <laughs> you're like. You're just like. You're just like. I don't. I don't. Fucking. Who needs? Somewhat even stats. <laughs> Fuck that this shit. Needs a body. <laughs> You're going to the full glass cannon build. Key, I where see. are you going with it? I kind of want to do insight. Insight's good. But then I'm like, but wait, more agility. Agility I'm gives at you my some. Like, who needs to actually hit? Yeah. If you go These to agility, are that's fine. stats. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you? Uh, what square are you getting rid of, Hibiki? That one. Okay. Now it's a crown. Now it's a crown. Ooh, ooh, baby. Nothing. Do -do -do. What about you, Muna? What square are you getting rid of? Right. No, I'm going to go back. Sorry, I was watching my cat. Very important. They're my familiar, after all. Uh, I, I can only do one. Hmm. If you hit a square square, then you might be able to give another one. You never know. It could even be a square. It wasn't. It wasn't a square. Zarel. Yeah. Which 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 square are you getting rid of? This square. Kill it. Okay. You're gonna kill it. It's gonna die because of oh. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My guilty conscience. Nothing. Good job. Oh yeah, should probably get rid of this and geo potion, right? What about you? Yes. What about you, Gilgamesh? Hmm. Just what it's if we have any squares again. Yeah, fuck it. Go down the line. Bloop. 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 Triangle! Ooh. Yeah, Man baby! You get a new manas. Yeah, the thing I use a lot. A new mananos. A new mananas. I need, to, I need to get at least one more blue AP at some point. That can come later. Boop, 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 boop. Nice job, nice job. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, nice job, nice, nice job. job. Nice job. Nice job. Good job. I'm glad you guys got the, the level up card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't wait for my backstab card to come out. Great. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great. I can't wait for the thing that I, I sent Lily. 
Yeah. That too. <laughs> yeah. You see, I thought I thought I was just playing it up, and then little said, "This is really fucking bad." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, it's bad." Okay. I, I hope the backstab card and the cat and the catastrophe happen at the same fucking time. It's okay, guys. If there's ever a chance that somebody is decepting us, I can use my card to 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 roll my a stat against them, and they have to reveal what they're lying about. And don't worry. You have to say if you're a cop. And don't worry, guys. <laughs> don't worry about this. The catastrophe card from now on will be active. Okay. <laughs> so yes, okay. it will be active at the same time. <laughs> well, thanks, yeah. Dick. You know what? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> you just bring them all over. Not oh, man. I so love that. I love that this is later. the game. I love that this is the game that I've allowed you guys to use these for your friends as well. Yeah. yeah. Good time. So you, you, you can you make us learn. reveal lies, huh? Uh oh. Uh huh. Just, lies. just checking. Anyway. Lies. I have not lied about a single fucking thing since I got here. <laughs> We got Yibiki backstory today, guys. Isn't so that true. Cool? It's very good. I it's thought very it was cute. cool. I it's cripplingly it. sad. He was the 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 victim of the week, essentially, for for his world. I'd like no, to I'd like to bring I'd like to bring it up. Much. I'd like to bring this up as well. The way Hibiki told it, it's that the monster legitimately just walked out onto the pitch <laughs> and broke your arms in particular. <laughs> And I love yes. that because that yes. reminds me so much of like early Power Rangers things. It's like, I'm jealous of that person. Stop them, my that monster. Was, <laughs> that was legitimately the whole point. It's like my I'm thought was that the my thought, my thought was that the monster just attacked and you got hurt during the attack, but no, it went straight <laughs> for you and it's just it went, fucking got you in particular. I love that. Yes. <laughs> yes, that was the whole I thing. Just, I just love it. Just imagine a hollow from bleach just flicking your heart. <laughs> I imagine that scene from fucking Yu Yu Hakusho where they shrunk down fucking, uh, uh, they shrunk down Kuwabara and then broke his arm. Oh, God. That was, that was brutal. It was that for but, but both my arm. <laughs> and then I can't throw no more. <laughs> I can't throw no more. The arm they hurt too bad. It's fine. Apparently, apparently you you got you got a bit of your a bit of your strength back in your hands. Maybe that's why a game or two ago you stopped your arm stopped shaking whenever you were aiming for yeah. things. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Or maybe, maybe you're just a maybe. fucking liar. Maybe just... I don't know. Fake cards are fake cards, man. <laughs> now, now I just imagine the hollows from Bleach again. But now I'm imagining, get them, boys. They start wearing mafia hats and get their own baseball bats. Is that why he's negative strength? Yeah, he's always had negative yeah. strength. Yeah. I'm kind of liking the idea of like you got, a Power you got Rangers card, get even more Space less. Jam episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I started with negative three. I then got the fake card that got me to negative two. Then last game, I got the car that got me to plus two. Wait, was there play. a Space Jam Power Rangers episode? or? Yeah, there should be. It would have been the perfect show. Yeah, the, the one you got like last a... time gave you plus two experience. Yeah. yeah. And now you have plus two strength, which got rid of your minus two strength. And now you're yeah. back at the beginning with no, your negative three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate Power Ranger, Michael Jordan! <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. I like that you guys got your sandwich s'mores today. That was very fun. Yeah. I loved that bit. It was great. <laughs> and what's up, Cube? I need to... I like that... to imagine, too, the bubble is perfectly preserving the, the, the s'more in it. Oh, yeah. So it's perfect temperature for, for when we give it to the girl. I can't wait. Uh, until I talked to Kreb about making uh, art for the s'more sandwich and turning that into one of the cards for the for the five darts campaign. Oh my fucking god! Honestly, no. <laughs> it just fucking give us give us a life point get back card where it's just like a <laughs> s'more sandwich, three people looking off to the side of it, or just like an open mouth Gilgamesh about to eat it. Ah. <laughs> 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 I need to go to sleep. If you don't do it, I'll kill you. Good Bye. night. Good night. Bye. 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 Well, Nico, it's nice knowing you. <laughs>
Well, it doesn't have to have everything there. It doesn't have to have like emergency revision, emergency provisions. Revisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! No, I don't. I don't. I think that might actually be the first time Gilgamesh has ever consumed sugar. <laughs> very nice. Very good. We're I, gonna I stop the recording I... really quick, and then we'll keep talking about the sugar thing. We're gonna stop the recording real quick. I hope everybody had a good time today. We'll come back next week with some more Kingdom Hearts. Going uh, deeper, delving further into this apparently prison. Uh, you just got out of a prison. What the fuck? Um, and we'll see what actually uh, lays in store for us down there. There's apparently somebody angry, growling, or whatever. Um, all that being said, my dude, let me go into a nice time, guys. Like always, later days. Bye bye. <laughs>